Well, that was weird. Everything played at once. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Starting off this year with a bang. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. It is uh, Tuesday, January 10th, and it's time for another viewer challenge. This one is the once postponed viewer challenge by our fall tournament champion, Micro Disney 0505. And I've been looking forward to this one. Hello, everybody. Long time no see. Glad to see you all again. Hey, AS Miller, thank you so much for the resub. The first sub of the year. Uh, 17 months for AS Miller. Thank you. Hello, everybody in chat. We've got an interesting setup today. Um, it's probably designed so that I have to press the most buttons possible. Um, I did get a nice new uh, stream deck for for the holidays, so I'm still in the process of setting that up, but it's making things a little bit easier, or at least it will be when we get there. Um, don't have much else to say except hello, welcome back. Um, I'm looking forward to whatever uh, Legendary brings, in 20, brings us in 2023, and I just found out, by the way, in the Discord that um, Upper Deck kind of posted their legendary gamer winners and it is captain metroidica has won the legendary gamer 2023 which is really cool so he gets a free trip to gen con all kinds of cool stuff so if you're listening congrats on winning that and i'm sure they'll do an official announcement on their stream tomorrow um what else what else a uh, randomizer stream on thursday we've also i got a poll up uh asking you guys what kind of content you most like from all the stuff I've done, what do you want to see me do? What do you not want to see me do anymore? What's your favorite? Uh, you can check out the Discord for the link to that survey. Check out the announcements channel if you want to uh, look at that. And uh, without further ado, I think we have some Legendary to play. I'm probably going to be a bit rusty. And I know uh, there are certain people in the chat who are going to call me out. And I, I welcome it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the setup. Uh, Micro Disney 0505 did win the fall tournament and one of the uh, prizes for the tournament winner is they get to pick the very next viewer challenge I, that I get to play. Um, this is the very next viewer challenge after the fall tournament because it was postponed then I went on break. So uh, that is still true. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what this challenge is all about. I'll do predictions, do all that good stuff. It is called Divided We Stand. Let's uh, let's peek at it right now. Divided We Stand by Micro Disney 0505. This mastermind and scheme combo came up last tournament and I loved it. It is a fine line to balance getting great cards with shield officers so not to lose the scheme, but not strengthen Emma too much. And here's the synopsis. A ragtag group of heroes have taken on Emma Frost and her circus. At times, the heroes seem divided. Can this group come together and stand divided as one? Or will it be the age-old adage, divided we fall? Now, the gimmick for this one is that uh, Micro Disney has put as many divided heroes into the hero deck, plural, hero decks, plural, um, as possible. I'll talk about that. Thank you so much for the follow. All right, so here's the special rules. One hero deck for each player. So it's kind of like how I do the uh, viewers play games. Uh, player one has their own hero deck of three heroes, technically. Uh, player two, same thing. Uh, there's uh, two regular heroes in each one, but the third hero group in each side is a custom group. Uh, custom hero group one is, is, is a bunch of divided cards. We've got Battle, uh, Battle America, Captain America, Battlestar, Inspire Nation, Inspire Man, Hercules Amadeus uh, Am Joe, Manly Dullard Boy Genius, Speedball Namorita, Double Down, Bubble Up, and then Patriots, Rare, Lead the Young Avengers, and then the other side's got a bunch of cards from Guardians MCU. Uh, there we go. Hey, thank you so much for the resub, Snash. Appreciate that. Uh, and uh, Standard Shield Officers only as well uh, for this scheme. Now let's go ahead and go over the setup. Watching while I work on printing and labeling dividers. Awesome. Which uh, which style dividers did you decide to go go with? Are they vertical or horizontal? And, and whose design? And someone's making me uh, drink some water. And that was Darth Agrajack. Thank you so much for that. I, I need that today. I've I haven't I've been going since uh, like 6 a.m. this morning, so I need it. Really nice to get back to streaming. I was out of town for a while, so it wasn't possible. But now it's possible. Let's go ahead and take a look at the setup, and uh, let me put the predictions up right now, actually, before I show you the setup. Uh, this, the decks are already ready. I'm just going to leave this, the prediction up for five minutes, and uh, there we go. Starting prediction now. I did make some changes to the, uh, if you didn't see the announcement in the Discord, cutting back on a couple of things, including the weekly booster packs. So one of the only ways to get booster packs now is with channel points rewards. So this is your chance to get some of those. If you're still into doing that, that is. Uh, all right, let me go ahead and uh, show you the setup. It is Emma Frost, Secret Hydra Corruption. I'm just using the official upper deck dividers on my own. Oh, I think I saw a picture of yours. Uh, those look really good. I, I do like those dividers a lot. If I was still doing horizontal dividers, I have enough, I would still use them. But they're very, very sturdy, very durable. 
um and i like the i like the style so awesome uh emma frost secret hydra corruption uh micro disney said to randomize villain groups for the second villain group and use the first one that came up that doesn't have an, a mastermind that always leads them so that was the great lakes avengers along with the hell lions emma frost always leads circus of crime uh dimensions yeah i did see that picture it looked great Circus of Crime is the henchman, and then we've got two hero decks. So left side, I'll try not to mess this up. Player one's got Cloak and Dagger, Storm and Black Panther, and that custom Avengers uh, with Speedball group I, I showed you earlier. Player two's got Falcon, Winter Soldier, Legion, and then that custom uh, MCU Guardian. So a ton of divided, ton of divided heroes. So there's going to be a lot going on. So that is a setup. Put in a command setup at any time if you'd like to see that again. Let's go over our mastermind and scheme. Our mastermind is Emma Frost, the White Queen from the New Mutants expansion. She's got eight attack. During your turn, Emma Frost gets plus one attack for each gray hero you have, which is tricky with these officers by, by design. Um, I guess I technically designed this setup, and Micro's putting it back on me here. Uh, Master Strike, stack this strike next to Emma Frost. Then each player has a Waking Nightmare for each strike stacked here. Now, whenever I do Waking Nightmares, the one thing I like to forget is to draw a card after the Waking Nightmare. So please catch me if I forget to draw a card after I do a discarding a non-gray from my hand. Oh, yeah, I got my keyword bot. Um, yeah, I got my keyword bot all back and set up, I think. So if I press this button, it should work. Yeah, sweet. So there you go. I have to uh, give a sub to Nightbot, though, for the, for the icons, but I'll take care of that another time. So that's the Mastermind. And the scheme is Secret Hydra Corruption, which I'm going to take out of the sleeve because it does transform. And it's going to be transforming often. Secret Hydra Corruption from Revelations. Uh, thank you, uh, Montax. Happy New Year to you and everybody else as well. Um, did you hear? You have a successor for the uh, Legendary Gamer Contest. Uh, 30 officers in the Shield Officer stack, all standard. Uh, and we got nine twists, special rules. Officers stacked next to this scheme are Hydra Sympathizers. You may pay three recruit to have the player of your choice gain one as a hero. Twist for each twist in the KO pile, including this one. Put a card from this uh, from the Shield Officer stack next to this scheme. Then this scheme transforms. Once it transforms, and again, this is me testing my effects as I put them all over my new place. I'll tell you who it was. It was Captain Metroidica who won uh, Legendary Gamer. Uh, I, I apologize to any Upper Deck staff who might be watching, but it was on your website, and Ollie KitKat told me, so I'm going to say it. Uh, congratulations there. Very cool. And here's the Transform side. Hey, it worked. Open Hydra Revolution. Uh, special rules. Yeah, super awesome. Uh, special rules officers next to this scheme are three attack Hydra Trader villains. When you fight one, return it to the officer stack and KO one of your heroes. Twist for each twist in the KO pile, including this one. Put a card from the Shield Officer stack next to this scheme. Then if Evil hasn't won yet, this scheme transforms. Evil wins when there are 15 officers next to this scheme or the Shield Officer stack runs out. So I have the Officer stack down there. I should actually put that up to 30 because, you know, that's what it should be. And then for the other counter, I'm just going to have a stack over here next to the Mastermind. Technically, it should be next to the scheme, but it doesn't really make a difference. We can pretend and uh, I'll put a die on there so you know just how many officers are there at any given time. When it gets to 15, I'm done for. And I'll try to remember to uh, reduce the number of officers as I go. Uh, okay, predictions are up for just a tad bit longer, but uh, let's get everything placed. I have to get my handy dandy extra divider for uh, HQ number two. So this might this is gonna get complicated with the divided cards, with the transforming scheme, with the uh, two-handed. So I probably will slip up. So again, please catch me. There's a lot, a lot of moving parts, and I haven't done this for two weeks. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Uh, Emma Frost is going to go right here. And uh, what do you think we're going to hear tomorrow on Upper Deck Stream? Do you think we're going to hear... I would say we're probably not going to hear about any expansions we don't know about. Um, maybe some Infinity Saga news. If we got a full slate for the year, which they said they may or may not do, that would be really cool. I don't expect it. But uh, sometime during this... Hmm, next couple of months, we're going to hear something, I'm sure. There's, I've, I've heard through the grapevine there's a lot of cool stuff they want to show us, but that's all I know. Um, okay, let's uh, throw the scheme off to the side, and where am I going to put this? I'll put it down here, out of out of out of sight. Um, okay, uh, predictions are clo closed in just a second. Watching that purple go down. All right, they are closed. So nine of you say I'm going to win. Only two of you say I'm going to lose, and uh, the winners are confident. Ninety percent of the points are towards a win. So good luck to you, and then vicariously to me. Let me hide that if I remember where I put the button. I moved all my buttons around. It's one of those things where it's going to be difficult to find everything, and then it's going to be better than when I started it, but there's going to be a little bit of growing pains. Um, but I'm very happy about it. Um, okay, so let's fill out both HQs. I'm going to go 
I'm going to do HQ number one on the one that I move. Because uh, that's going to be a little easier because I have uh, Hero Deck 1 to my left and Hero Deck 2 to my right. So I try not to make any errors. So here we go. Hero Deck 1, left side, is going to start with Storm Black Panther. We got, ooh, Storm Black Panther is rare. Followed by Cloak and Dagger. Followed by Speedball and Namorita. And followed by Storm and Black Panther. And we will move that just for a moment, filling up HQ2. We've got Legion, Drax, and Roman Day. Or actually, no, she is a Nova Prime. What's her name? Yeah, uh, Irani Rafi. Uh, I gotta know how to say this. I'm gonna have to say it. Uh, Irani Rafi. I always want to say that the wrong way. Let me check check my divided card. Think. Oh, that's upside down. There we go. I know how to do things. Irani Rafi, I guess. Anyway, they're here. That should be this way. Um, we've also got okay, Rocket and Groot. I think Micro Daisy just wanted to make things hard for me in manipulating all this stuff. Look at all those divided cards. Everything sideways until it's not. Um, all right. So we're going to start with HQ number one with the left hand. Oh, I totally forgot to get my starter hands ready. So I'll do that while we chat. Professional. Yep. Yep. Hey, in my defense, I never claim to be professional. <laughs> I'm just some guy who uh, plays a game in front of people digitally. I'm going to use the Hydra on the right just so I... It's slightly a, slightly a smaller chance that I mess things up. And uh, there we go. I don't see Micro Disney here if you're here. Um, shout out if I do anything wrong as far as what you intended with the setup. But otherwise, I look forward to giving this one a shot. So, starter hand on the right. Starter hand on the left. Then we'll get going. I do enjoy the transforming schemes. I think it's one of my favorite scheme mechanics. I hope to see that again. I enjoy the transforming schemes from Revelations a bit more than I do the um, Veiled Unveiled schemes from Messiah Complex. I... There's a lot I like about those. I like the gimmick there. But uh, the transforming schemes are really cool. And I sure hope to see more of them. Maybe we'll see them in Infinity Saga. I really have absolutely no idea. Uh, let's go ahead and start with turn number one. Try to take on Emma Frost with all these divided heroes. There we go. And now the animation didn't show up. See? Everything's great. I will work out the kinks later. So we're starting with a four and two. And from the villain deck, I gotta grab from the right decks. Here we go. First card is a scheme twist. Of course it is. Of course it is. So here we are. Let's do the thing. For each twist in the KO pod, including this one, put a card from the shield officer stack next to this scheme, and the scheme transform. So we're gonna put it next to the mastermind uh, just for display purposes. Officer stack goes down one, and uh, then the scheme transforms into its other side. I gotta put a counter on those uh, on the officer as soon as there's more than one. But right now, this is a transform. And okay, so just to, for, to be clear, the officers are Hydra Traders. I have to use three attack to fight one. But uh, I almost did it this turn, but not quite. So let's keep going. I'm not going to do anything with my two. There's, there's so, certain things you can't forget, especially if they're not in your control. Oh my gosh, I played my match for, uh, for Travel Size 2022 Review League. And it was one of the fastest and worst games I ever played. Um, it was train Black Widows in the Red Room, solo. And I lasted six turns. Turn two, I pulled four consecutive twists. If you don't know that scheme, the scheme is play a twist, put an officer in the city, play another card from the villain deck, and then you lose on three escapes. Not only did I get four twists on turn two, I got one more twist on turn five, and then on turn six, I got another twist, and I lost there. But it put a Sentinel Squad 1 in the city, so with a scheme of you lose with three escapes, I had five escapes. So I can't do much worse than that, so I'm going to be okay, I think. Um, so let's go back to... Yes, this is the correct order. So we start with here. Very extremely harsh. There's only one card, <clears throat> actually two cards I can recruit. Let's just switch over. We're going to be almost permanent divider mode, and I got to remember not to put them upside down. That was the other way. All right, so we got Gathering Rain Clouds, Gathering Clues, one recruit, and range draw card, one attack, and instinct draw card. Pretty solid, but I have access to a card that's a little bit better in Cloak and Dagger. We've got above and below, two attack, or zero plus recruit. You got plus to recruit, usable only to recruit heroes in the issue space under the sewers, which early game will help. Um, unfortunately, I can't use that recruit towards the officers if it's on the untransformed side. But I think I'm still going to go with above 
so I can start with a card that has two attack on it. Maybe use this to get a stronger Storm Black Panther. So we're going to go ahead and uh, pick that up. For three, trying to go slow, trying not to mess anything up. Okay, this deck's on the left-hand side. we got another Storm Black Panther, identical to the first one. And I can't fight anything. That's going to be the end of this turn. New hand is going to be... Just going to take a peek at it. I don't know why I did it that way. Habit. Oh, uh, we got another four and two. Of course it was. Where am I going to put this? I'm going to put it down here. All right, here we go. This hand is a three and three. So I can fight this officer if nothing crazy happens. And it's going to be Cat Side from the Hell I Am showing up on turn two. Oh, I didn't even realize. We, on top of everything, we've got Moonlight and Sunlight to deal with. So... Throw me in the deep end here. All right, three attack, Moonlight, Cat's Eye gets plus two, fight, K one of your heroes. And it's hard to even do the thing because they're all sideways. So right now I've got uh, even, even, odd, odd, odd. So it is Moonlight, at least during this turn. I got to switch it every turn because I have two different hero decks, or HQs. Two different hero decks, two different HQs. So right now, Cat's Eye is going to be five attack. Uh, I'm looking at the other HQ, and that is also in Moonlight, which makes it a little easier for me to keep track of this. Although harder to fight the cat. I guess I'm not fighting the cat, I'm fighting cat side, but... Well, she transforms into... I'm gonna let it go. Okay, so, so uh, we've got uh, three and three. I'm going to fight that officer. Just confirming with the scheme here. Uh, when you fight one, it, it, there are three attack hydra traders. When you fight one, return it to the officer stack and KO one of your heroes. So we're gonna play our operatives for the three recruit. We're gonna play our soldiers for the three attack. And then we are going to do that thing. We're going to attack the hydra trader and return it to the officer stack. I guess I could just put it on top, they're all officers, which is gonna increase the number back to 30. Um, and KO one of my heroes is going to be an operative. There, okay, so that's good. Great, and uh, now I'm going to spend my three recruit on something. I only have, again, once I have two cards I can take. Let's look at both Legion's divided cards. <laughs> I, wh what would that button do? OCR, right? Recognizing the characters and counting for me. I guess at every moment that the HQ switches from sunlight to moonlight, I could have like a sun or a moon go over. Oh, you know, like have a blue filter. Oh, that's a, such a great idea, Agri Jag. It should be like a, like a yellow or blue filter. Okay, that's going on my list of stuff I got to do. So thank you for that. I'll, I'll re remember that. That's actually pretty good. Um, hey, Wolf from Gaming, thank you for the first time tier one sub. Welcome, and I appreciate that. Good luck with your... Uh, divider creation. Nothing more satisfying than getting those all done. Um, all right, so we got Ben Steel, Ben Light, uh, one attack Berserk on Ben Steel, one recruit Light should get plus two recruit. Gives me a reason to pre plus, press the Light Show button. And I can put it, yeah, I, I can. So something that will stay static out here to show that it's Sunlight or Moonlight. Definitely. Stop giving me, I just went, I just, I just came out and I'm like, hey, I gotta cut down on doing stuff. But then I get that. Another idea came in for something else. Um, that uh, I want to do, so I just can't stop having it. Stop giving me ideas, but except for just keep giving me ideas because I love them all. Um, okay, that's one card. <laughs> and we got some piercing energy here, which could be useful, uh, except for against the Marie Hills. So Split Personality has got two attack, and Split Eardrums gets two piercing energy, which could help me manage the city, get around some of this uh, Moonlight Sunlight, for example. Uh, Cat's Eye is three VP, which wouldn't uh, would take two Split Eardrums to do that. I think I'm still going to go with the piercing energy because... Uh, it's not whether or not you need it. It's whether, I, you know, it, it summons you, you know? Um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, take split personality, split eardrums here on the right-hand side for three. Pulling from the correct deck, that's going to replace with another Legion. I might as well leave this sideways the whole time. I'm just pressing this button over and over. It's fine. So we got an, uh, we had a three and three last time, so we're going to have a five and one. Coming up next... Here's our four and two that uh, we already talked about. So, um, by the way, did you guys watch the Quantumalia? Quant Quantumalia? I don't know what that is. Uh, the Quantumania trailer that just came out. I actually didn't watch it. I'm trying to avoid Marvel trailers this year. I think it's going to make movies better for me. Uh, turn. Not that I didn't like the movies before, but uh, I'm giving it a shot. Turn three gives us a Master Strike. And uh, I can just jump over here and press this now. <laughs> don't have to swap it out. I got all the buttons there for all the sounds. 
So, here is Emma Frost Master Strike. Stack this strike next to Emma Frost, then each player has a Waking Nightmare for each strike stacked here. So, this side, actually both sides, this whiffs, because neither hand has any non-gray heroes. So, no Waking Nightmares whatsoever. And I forgot to update her for her attack, but uh, there's no point... There's, I'm, I saw the first trailer, and it looks great. I'm avoiding the second one, but I, I was sold after the first one. I, I mean, I was sold when I heard about it. Um, so I'll, I'll start tracking her attack once um, I get close to hitting her. But right now, she's like 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I have a lot of great heroes. Um, okay, so that one whiffs, which is nice. We've got uh, 4 recruit. It's going to start off the year strong. Um, we're starting to hit the uh, schedule of movies where they weren't impacted by like COVID delays. So um, I think things are going to get jump up in quality a bit at, from this point forward. For the, the things where they did fall behind a bit. Alright, so I got four recruit. I can only take both of these Storm Black Panther cards. So this one. I mean, if I take both of them, that might be worth it. But I'm going to want to invest in instinct and range to make these work. Which I probably will. But Black Panther here has also got some covert, which I already have. So let's just, let's just get what we can get. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take Gathering Rain Clouds. Gathering Clouds for two. Let's do a replacement before we take anything else. And it is going to be a oh, cap and battle star, but I can't afford it. So let's go ahead and take the other uh, Storm Black Panther here. And uh, replace. I almost grabbed from the wrong side. This is left hand. Cloak and Dagger. Cloak and Dagger. Okay. Um, my goal for this game is to find and recruit Penumbra, the rare Cloak and Dagger, because then I can use both sides of every divided card, and that's going to be absolutely nuts. So, we'll see if I can get it. It might never show up, but I really hope it does. This would be the setup for Penumbra to appear. But I don't know. And I was hoping on the other side to get some Falcon Winter Soldier, because I think they're one of my favorite hero sets of last year. They got, there's so much they can do. Um, by the way, Sunlight Moonlight. Oh, Super Moonlight. Oh, should I have like a slider? So, if it's I have more odd cards in the HQ, Moonlight gets stronger. I can't, I can't be doing these things. I need a whole team for that. But I can imagine it, and it sounds cool. There's a bunch of grays. So I got to do some KOing. I got to get some recruits done. I got to do a lot of recruits, so Emma Frost is weakened, so I don't have that many gray cards. But uh, easier said than done, right? All right, turn four. Thank goodness I'm not playing solo. Faces of the Moon, that would be cool. I mean, solo. I, I two-ended solo is my favorite. I've been playing solo for that league I mentioned. I just... Playing another card every time you play a Master Strike just hurts me every time. I don't really, it doesn't really feel good. I get why it's necessary for solo mode, for advanced solo, but uh, eh, I like, I gotta stick with my two handed. All right, turn four is a, fir a first henchman, our first henchman. The entire Circus of Crime is here. Three attack, fight, reveal the top card of your deck if it costs zero KO and otherwise draw it. This is going to be invaluable uh, for weakening Emma Frost, but I don't have top deck knowledge, at least not yet. Uh, there's some phasing. Cloak has some phasing. But then that won't help me. Anyway. I'm going to have to get lucky here. Uh, so I've got five recruit. I can't even fight them this turn anyway. And I can take a couple of things. This is great. So we've got uh, Rocket and Groot. Tricky is simple. Uh, Rocket's got two plus recruit. If you have at least five different card names, which is great with all these divided cards, you get plus two recruit. This is almost always going to be a uh, four recruit card. So I'm probably going to take this. However, we also have Legion. And Legion is also very good. Uh, Legion's channel time, channel fire, draw two cards, or you get plus one attack for each different hero class in your discard pile. Also great with, especially uh, Falcon Winter Soldier's Dark Memories and just divided cards in general. So what's more important to have now? I think I should start with Rocket and Groot first so I can get some recruits and maybe recruit, uh, spend some of that recruit on uh, Maria Hills. So let's go ahead and uh, recruit... Tricky and simple first. I will come back around to getting Legion if I can afford it. We've got another um, I'm Invisible. Center is Invincible. I mean, you got to give it up for the uh, MCU Guardian set. It has some of the best card names in the game. Thanks to Drax. I really look forward to what they're going to do with Infinity Saga. The card names. The card names should be great, especially if and when Thanos is a mastermind. There's so many iconic Thanos quotes for tactics. Oh, it's going to be good. Hopefully with pictures, individual pictures on each one. Um, now, Ego and Ronin had the same picture for each tactic. 
And it might be the same for Infinity Saga. I hope it's not, but uh, we'll see. There we are. I got my Piercing Energy card. There's so many great quotes, great lines. I, I, that's that's why I would be totally down with a new MCU core set because there's so many iconic lines from these MCU heroes um, that we didn't get to see because it was a copy of the core set that we saw in... Um, it was okay in Homecoming, excellent in Guardians. Um, yes, it's another MCU expansion. It's uh, the heroes that we remember from Phase 1 through th Phases, particularly 2 and 3, that we didn't see in the core MCU box. And then... Um, Probably the rest this year are not going to be MCU, except we only know about one other. All right, turn five is going to give me uh, another twist. So we got another transform. So there we are. It's all sideways. I don't care. All right, now there's two twists in the KO pile. For each one, put a card from the Shield Officer stack next to the scheme. Then if Evil hasn't won yet, it transforms. So that's two strikes there. And you can see clearly there's two, so I do not have to demarcate that. Uh, but, uh, ooh, I almost pressed the wrong button. That would have been really bad. Um, 28 in the officer stack, and then this is going to transform into the other side, and now we can pay recruit again to get rid of these officers. Uh, the Hydra sympathizers pay. You may pay through recruit to have the player of choice gain one as a hero. This is the part that Micro Disney mentioned in his synopsis that the more of those you gain, the stronger Emma Frost stays, because she it's a she's a great hero. Um, okay, so let's play what I've got. It's a three and three. I'm excited for a new Legendary, even though I still have so much to play with what I... Yeah, I mean, I'm sure that's how most of us feel. Like, I could... Like, I, I keep mentioning, um, I'm not trying to jinx anything because I want Legendary to go for a long, long time because there's so much more I want to see. But if, like, it ended today, I could still play this game for, for decades. There's that much stuff in it. So, um, I, I, I feel you. But, you know, we're, we're greedy. We want more stuff. I want more stuff. We all want more stuff. Um, <laughs> okay. Um... So I can fight the Circus of Crime, and I can get an officer. But let me let me do the fight first, see if I get a zero cost, and then go from there. So, uh, by the way, let me check for Cat's Eye. It is still Moonlight. It is super duper Moonlight. Um, <laughs> exactly. We're, we're very... Watch. When, as soon as I announce one little thing, we're going to be blowing up chat and talking about it. And we all... We're... We gotta get our grubby little hands on more expansions. Um, all right, let's do this. Fight, reveal the top card of your deck if it costs zero KO. Otherwise, draw it. Come on, give me a zero. Okay, well, I didn't... I, I, I would have rather taken the KO, but I do get to draw Storm of Black Panther. So, there we go. That one was weird. Oh, I ha forgot to put a space for victory piles. Let me go ahead and just I'll slide that in right over there. It's great. Um, don't overlook it because it's a photographic set. Um, best photographic set so far and one of the better sets in general. I think there's so much cool stuff going on in there. Um, okay. You'll get there, Wolfram. So, I drew this card. Let me go ahead and uh, play the card. So we've got uh, Gathering Storm Clouds, Gathering... I almost said Gathering Clues. That's not this card. That's another card. Oh, it is Gathering Clues. The ga gathering Storm Clouds, Gathering Clues. I was thinking of something else, but I was right the whole time. <laughs> okay, so do I want one recruit or one attack? I mean, I'll take the one recruit. N neither is going to do anything. So I'll take the recruit. And, uh, all right. Do I get an officer? I lose when there's 15 officers stacked next to the mastermind. There's only two there right now. Let me go ahead and peek at my uh, options in the HQ. Uh, so we're starting... <laughs> we're starting with Inspire Nation, Inspire Man. So gain a sidekick, two attack. Not really one that I really want over here. I made this easier for myself, and now I keep rotating them anyway. Um, so then we got one other. Above and below. I already have one of these. Right? I kind of reluctantly took it. Okay, uh, I am going to play it safe here, and I'm going to start actually by uh, getting an officer out of there. So I'm going to spend the free recruit. Let me remind myself and maybe a couple of you uh, what we do. You may pay through recruit to have the player of your choice gain one as a hero. I would love to get King and Queen of Wakanda. It is the only rare I see out right now. So I'm going to take it on my side here on the left right now. And then I can probably axe it once uh, I get a bunch of sidekicks, even though I might get some gray sidekicks, but you play them, they're gone. So that's that for that turn. Hey, you ever think we'll see some divided officers? That would be weird. That'd be interesting. Uh, my In my comic reading right now, I am like halfway through Civil War II. And there's a lot of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. stuff going on with uh, the characters we know from the show that were added to the comics later along with 
characters that existed already. And uh, I, I could see some divided cards there. Um, okay, turn six. What do we got? We got uh, Thunderbird from the Hellions here. Coming in. Uh, four attacks, Sunlight. He gets plus two. And then fight KO one of your heroes. It's... Oh, it is Sunlight. So let's do this. Cat's Eye loses the five. We'll put it up there. Out of the way. And then Thunderbird is going to go up to six. And we'll just swap those out every time there's a turn until I fight these. Yep. Okay. But I have two Piercing Energy. Too strong for these. I do have three attack. I can get five attack. I can at least hit Cat's Eye this turn while Cat's Eye is weakened from my wonderful sunlight. Um, I've got three attack here. So since the two piercing energy does nothing, we're going to play split personality and get two attack. We're at five. And then we've got two recruit as well. Uh, and I can do some KOing that way. All right. We're going to take out Cat's Eye for three and uh, fight KO one of your heroes. It's going to be another Hydra operative. Getting out of here. And uh, Cat's Eye is defeated on the right hand side. Then, that was for uh, two attack left, two recruit. I got a couple cards I can take or a sidekick. I think I'd rather get the dual class one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just right now get Ben Steel, Ben Light, because uh, you know I want some multi colors. I started Jason Aaron's Thor run after watching Thor: Love and Thunder, but I've kind of stalled in it for the moment. I hear that I, I coincidentally I read it in my reading order just before Love and Thunder came out, and it's one of my favorites. Um, some of these self-contained runs, like um, like the Hawkeye run, um, it's just there's there's just good. You can jump into this different little world, and uh, it's called Thor God of Thunder, I think. It's great, but you don't pressure yourself to to uh, try to get through everything. Um, yes, this is the I almost was questioning myself. Is the right deck? So the reading order I I uh, am reading it jumps around a lot uh, from comic to comic. It's on um, complete Marvel reading order dot dot com or dot org and uh three that's seven cards why did i do that counting mistake um and it, it does its best to put comics in chronological order so like it'll jump between a captain america comic and the iron man comic and the main line comic if uh, certain events line up in a proper way and i've enjoyed that and i've read a couple of comics and said hey i wonder what happened earlier in this actual series run so i'll jump back and i'll read that and it's been in uh Fun little flexible experiment reading those. Um, turn seven is uh, Mr. Immortal. I just got to Ironheart, by the way. She showed up. Uh, totally awesome Hulk. It's fun to see when these characters I know from Legendary show up. Uh, well, I mean, Ironheart's not one yet in Legendary. Oh, yeah, an Omnibus would definitely help. I don't own any Omnibus. I might get some as a like, cool collection after I finish reading them. All right, so about Mr. Immortal fight. Reveal the top card of the villain deck. If it's a villain or bystander, Mr. Immortal re-enters the sewers. He is an annoying one. And uh, Thunderbird does not have the plus two this turn because it is Moonlight. But again, I can get at most two attack, and I might as well try to fight Mr. Immortal. So I'll play Gather... Actually, if I don't, that's one, two, three, four, five recruit. So I can get the Shield Officer for three, but what I probably want to do is take one of these five cost heroes. So we're going to just let this Shield Trooper do a bunch of nothing. And we're going to play all five recruit with gathering rain clouds. And then we're going to pick up one of these five costs. So our choices are we've got uh, double down bubble up. Well, that one is a new one. At first glance, that one almost looks passable. That's very interesting. Okay. So here we go. Double down, uh, draw two cards, bubble up. You get plus three attack. Usable only against villains on the bridge or against the mastermind. I mean, plus attack against the mastermind is helpful. Especially when I can cancel out basically three gray cards. Kind of. But I guess any attack would do that. But I think what I want is the uh, Storm and Black Panther over here on the left. Because Tsunami of Water or Justice. Range, you get plus two attack usable only against the mastermind. And three attack. And then Covert, you make KO a card from hand or discard pile. That KO, po the KO power is um, invaluable with... Emma Frost. So let's go ahead and uh, take Tsunami of Water slash Justice over here on the left for five. And this is the left side's deck. I'm trying to get this right. All right. Closer to Penumbra, but not quite Penumbra. It's the uncommon Cloak and Dagger. And that is it for this turn. I'm getting some good pickups. Some good momentum. I shouldn't say momentum because Annihilus will show up. 
Oh, by the way, I'll just throw this out there. Um, I mentioned trying not to do too many things, even though I am. Uh, Marvel Snap, anybody who's playing that, I think they said they're supposed to be adding Play Against Friends by the end of the month. And that allows people to run their own little tournaments, and I definitely want to get involved in that. So if you're playing Marvel Snap, uh, go to the Discord. We have a area just for Marvel Snap play. And I'll probably do a little tournament. And what's cool about a Marvel Snap tournament is unlike a legendary tournament, I can actually verify. You can do verified scores. People either win or lose. They can send screenshots, blah, blah, blah. So it would be a fun place to give out some promos for legendary. So I might be doing that. We will see. Uh, turn eight is Circus of Crime coming in. My monitor just turned off. That's not cool. So once again, they can potentially give me some KO power. Monitor turned back on. Great. All right. So Thunderbird is at uh, six attack there. So I look at all that recruit. That's cool. Um, wrong HQ though. That would have been great. I don't have any rares to take. I don't have at least five different card names. So I can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven recruit if I want, or I can get five recruit and three attack. Um, the most expensive thing in the HQ is a five. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to play all five operatives because I do want this divided legion. Uh, there. Because this... So Channel Fire, by the way, is Dark Memories. You get plus one attack for each different hero class in your discard pile. It's Dark Memories without Dark Memories, and that'll work great if Falcon and Winter Soldier decide to appear. So let me go ahead and take Channel Time and Fire for five. These cards are very strong, too, so I'm happy to have them all mixed together. And uh, replaced with another one. I sound like DJ Khaled over here. All right, so two recruits going to not do much. Let's go ahead and play Simple. Simple is going to give me three attack. And let me fight Circus of Crime. And maybe I get to do a KO. And I won't fight Mr. Immortal until I have to. So Circus of Crime, top card of my deck, is a zero-cost card. So I do get to KO this soldier. I would have rather KO'd an operative, but I'll take it. Reducing my number of gray cards. Circus of Crime is gone. And that is that. I'm picking up some great stuff. But I need to have them all in my hand at the same time. Okay. We got. We got one of them. Ooh, that's a pretty good hand. I can do some stuff. I'm afraid to Berserk, but Berserking with Divided Cards is usually okay. Most of these cards do have some semblance of attack on them. Um, so I have to talk to... I have some friends who are big into comics. And I kind of want to know people's opinion on, on uh, Bendis. Uh, hey, uh, Mikey, thank you so much for the resub. It's almost two years. That's uh, 23 months. That's crazy. Uh, Limitless, hello. Is that how you say that, Limitless? Great. Are you going to spam me or are you just saying hello? I'm not being facetious. I just got a big spam message. But uh, I'm, do I'm great. Thank you. All right. Um, let's play a card for the villain deck because that's what we're doing now. Yes. It is another Circus of Prime. Okay. So uh, once again, Sunlight is not happening that's almost two years that's crazy i appreciate you being around this long and listening to me babble on about whatever um okay so i got a combo here to do but i have to make a decision let me look at the uh the five drop first so this is going to be Whoop, here we go again i did it again i don't know why i keep doing that Learn my lesson. So I can either... I can activate one of these, depending on which Cloak and Dagger I play. So do I want to KO a card from my hand or discard pile? My discard pile contains nothing right now. And then we've got a three attack and then range. You get plus two attack usable only against the Mastermind. By the way, if you care, Emma Frost gets plus one attack for each gray hero I've got. So she's at eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So max I can get is three, five, seven, eight. Not going to do it. So I might as well just take Tsunami of Justice. But I want to play above first. So I get that KO from my hand, which means if I decide to KO an agent, I'm going to be left with only two recruit, but I will get a total of three, five, six attack. And I can fight, well, one thing from the city, or I can try to fight Mr. Immortal and the Circus of Crime. Maybe get two KOs. Um, I got three recruit. I, if I, now, alternatively, if I decide to play below, I get plus three recruit to recruit stuff under the sewers I can get. The uncommon cloak and dagger. So let's take a look at that one. There's a lot of different angles to look at here. 
So I can recruit this this turn if I decide to go below. Um, this is Darkness and Light. This is a Covert Reveal the Top Card of your deck if it costs zero, KO it. I like that. And then Light, three recruit, and then Range Reveal the Top Card of your deck if it costs one or more, draw it. And that works well with... Um, I got other stuff that gives me knowledge. I think this is what I want to do. So I'm going to play what I can to get that. Although I'm so close to getting Storm Black Panther, but I can't do that. So we're going to start with Below. We'll just switch back. So plus to recruit, to recruit HQ in HQ space under the sewers. That's plus three for here. I can actually give myself a little uh, store credit right here. Okay, and uh, I'll play out my agents. I'll gonna give. I don't actually have to recruit. I put it over there. I've got one, two, three, and uh, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and take this for three. Right now, I didn't miss a soaring flight yet, did I? I don't think so. The Legion, I think the one Legion card with Soaring Flight I didn't take yet, unless I missed it. I didn't see yet, I mean. Um, that's gone. Left hand side, I think I'm doing okay keeping track of this. I'm pacing myself. Going a little slower here. So, um, I'll play Tsunami of Water. I get plus two towards the Mastermind, doesn't really help me. But I do get um, three attack plus one is four. Um, so, again, uh, Thunderbird is plus two in Sunlight. It is still all odd. So I'm going to hit Thunderbird right now for four, and then I get to KO another one of my heroes. Let's get rid of a shield agent. Left-hand side is going to be the one that takes one, and I'm sure, because I'm going to get rid of most of my greys over here. Unless she gives them back to me, which she probably will. So Thunderbird is gone on the left. Hey, MVL Marcus, thank you for the prime sub. What did you say? Making use of their prime sub in 2023. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you for uh, putting your prime sub towards me. It's very kind of you. Um, okay. That was it. In honor of MVL Marcus and the Prime Sub, I'm going to end my turn. Congratulations, me, for ending my turn. Give me something good. I spoke too soon. Not good at all. Bare minimum, maybe. All right. So what's worrying me now is I haven't seen a lot of twists. I know it's only turn 10, but these officers are going to ramp up fast. It's going to mess up what I'm trying to do with optimizing my decks. Both sides, with Dark Memories and stuff, and with the... um. With the combos with uh, Cloak and Dagger, Storm Black Panther. We'll see what happens. All right, going back to the right-hand side. We've got everything you see here, but wait, there's more. Villain deck card is a Master Strike hitting us right now. I said a Master Strike hitting us right... I pressed the button. Something, something's going on. <laughs> there we go. I stopped using the Prime Sub because I didn't think I was getting the proper points. I mean, hey, it's your prerogative. I, if if you're actually encountering an error with sub points and Twitch, contact them directly if you actually think you're not getting um, what you should be. But as far as I can tell, I haven't heard anybody have that issue. So hopefully you can get that resolved. Um, all right, uh, here we go. Stack this strike next to Emma Frost. Then each player has a waking nightmare for each strike stacked here. So these are going to happen. The first one whiffed. I got lucky. That was early, but once again, let's all look at Waking Nightmare just to make sure I don't forget to draw a card at the end of it. So two Waking Nightmares for each player. Discard a non-gray hero from your hand. If you discard a hero this way, draw a card. So which one do I want to discard over here? You have to resub every month. Um, oh, with, with Prime. Yeah, Prime subs are every month. Otherwise, it, it, it can be automatic. And you can just uh, notify when your alert comes up. But yeah, that's what that's how prime subs work. Um, hmm. I think what I want to do is get rid of Ben Steel, Ben Light. Don't have any of the light show cards. Berserk may not succeed. So let's uh, ditch Ben Steel, Ben Light and draw a new card. It is a Hydra Soldier. Left hand side has got to do the same thing. I only have one non gray, so not much of an option here at all. Discard Black Panther and Storm and draw another gray. I got a hand of all grays now. Exactly what she wanted. Okay, so let's uh, plan this out. Also, going to be receiving my entire collection. Just upgraded to Sleeve Kings Premium from Penny Sleeves. Will be a daunting task, but should be fun. Oh yeah, when I upgraded from my uh, perfect fits to these, uh, definitely uh, very satisfying and up in quality afterwards. But uh, yeah, you know, just put on a TV show, binge a season of something, and just mindlessly sleeve. It can actually be quite zen. If you do it properly. So enjoy your sleeving. Enjoy your sleeving, Zen. Um, and the new sleeves. 
All right, so max attack, I get two, four, seven. Emma Frost is at eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I could try to hit Mr. Immortal. But I only need five. I could, here's what I could do. I could pierce Mr. Immortal. Tricky. Do I have five different card names? I do. It's going to be Tricky, Hydra Operative, Hydra Soldier, Split Personality, Split Eardrums if I don't play this yet. So that'll give me four recruit. That's six total recruit. And I can get another Legion. I think I want to do that. So speaking of Tricky, this does get Tricky. So uh, let me do this correctly before I play anything. I don't think I've played anything yet. Okay. Tricky. Two recruit. If you have at least five different card names, you get plus two recruit. Once again, those card names are Tricky. Hydra Soldier, Hydra Operative, this is in my hand, uh, Split Personality, and Split Eardrums. It's both sides till you play it. So I get the two Recruit. Pretty sure I'm doing that correctly. Followed by one more, one Operative. Let's go ahead and get the other Divided Legion, uh, which is going to be uh, great. Yep, pick it up. With more Dark Memories on it. And Replenish from the right-hand side. We got our first uh, Passion and Compassion. We got some Excessive Violence or kindness, or both, but I'm not going to get per number over here. So, uh, do I take the four attack, or two attack, two piercing? Either way, I can't hit any everything right now. I'll admit to watching some of your streams on YouTube while I was getting my cards out of the penny sleeves. Hey, whatever works. I know some people put me on in the background. It's noise to listen, and I'm more than happy to, to be present in the background. Uh, I hate you listening in the background right now, not watching. Keep doing what you're doing. You're awesome. Thank you for listening to me prattle on. Uh, don't fall asleep on my sake. Or do. If you're trying to sleep, go for it. Who am I to tell you what to, what to do and when to sleep? Uh, okay. Um, I think I want to take out the Circus of Crime. Let's do it in style by piercing them because why the heck not? I'll play Split Eardrums so I can use uh, the Piercing Energy die. Here it is. Ba-bam. Two Piercing Energy. Thank you, Jolt, for that. What would I do without you guys reminding me to be hydrated? Anybody else love drinking out of mason jars or is it just me? Um, okay. Let's pierce the circus instead of uh, Mr. Immortal. I still have to do his fight effect anyway. There we go. Top card of my deck is a zero cost. So that was a good bet. I get to KO that and get rid of Circus of Crime. I do love this henchman group. Um, oh, yeah. You want to find some... Uh, Need to find some better quality sleeves. Oh, so you you took them out of the penny sleeves and now you're not using sleeves at all? I guess that's fine for a while. Just, you know, the starter cards will wear pretty quickly, so I hope you find some. Um, okay. Yeah, there's enough. Uh, you know, I can try to fight Mr. Mortal with two attack. Duh. So let's do it. Let's see if I get lucky here. Mr. Mortal's in the bank. By the way, if you didn't see him in She-Hulk, I, I kind of enjoyed how they did his character. I know some people are going to say they did him dirty, but uh, these side characters, is just fun to see them at all. Um, okay, here we go. Spend the two attack. Reveal the top card of the villain deck. If it's a villain or bystander, Mr. Mortal re-enters the sewers. It is a bystander, which is one of the rarest things to happen, is having a bystander bring Mr. Mortal back. So he goes back into the sewers. At least I know Karma's coming up, and he's going to take Karma. And that is it for the, the turn. I wonder what cool henchmen we'll see this year. Um, we were chatting earlier. Yeah, this is all I got left. I guess I've been doing a lot of... I'm like, how, much, how do I have so few cards left? Three out of five. I must have KO'd a lot. Let's make sure I didn't put them on the wrong side. I don't think so. This field. So I got I got one, two, six. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in my deck. Yeah, that's right, because the... Uh, the KO pile is like almost all Hydra. Yeah, that's four. Yeah, that's totally right. It just feels like a small deck, which I guess is good. <laughs> I thought it was great. I loved his character in that. Um, I never had an affinity for the character anyway, so maybe <laughs> that, that led into it, but it was great. Uh, again, we were talking in the Discord about um, upcoming expansions, and we're like, hey, if they're going to do a Spider-Verse expansion, this would be the year, right? Because... No Way Home just happened somewhat recently. Uh, Into this, Across the Spider-Verse comes out this summer, and uh, who knows? And if it is a medium box, we'll probably get some more Spider-Man uh, Spider group henchmen, which would be fun. 
Um, all right, so as we revealed, Karma is the bystander that is uh, entering the city, being captured by Mr. Immortal, and uh, she becomes a hero. Reveal the top card of your hero, the hero deck, get plus attack equal to its printed attack. And I have to remind myself how that works with divided cards, because I, I can't remember. If either side has... I think you pick one or the other. I think you only add them together for things like Abomination, or maybe... If it comes up, I'll have to look it up. I'm just saying I don't remember exactly, so I'd have to check. But that might not even happen. Um, okay, so I've got a 4 and 2 this late in the game. Which means I get to do a recruit. There's no officers to take, right? Oh, yeah, there are. I just covered them up. There's one officer. Right? There's only one? Yeah, one was gained. That's right. Okay, so I can spend recruit. We're on the uh, Secret Hydra Corruption side. Let me look at my options before I before I make that decision. Okay, so we've got a uh, very, very uh, analytical game. So again, we've got Inspire Nation, Inspire Man, to get a psychic or two attack. We have Cloak and Dagger, which will work well with everything else I've got. Again, two attack and then recruit things under the sewers. But I have a first Hercules divided card, which might be where I want to go because of the drawing cards aspect of it. So Manly Dullard, Boy Genius, three attack to play this. You must discard a card from your hand. And then Boy Genius, draw a card, a very safe pickup. Um, because draw a card is draw a card is draw a card. So I'll leave the one officer where she is, and let me go ahead and uh, take Manly Dollar Boy Genius. I'll, I'll play, I'll play my four recruit, and I'll spend three of it. So four, spend three, take that, refill from the left hand side. We get, oh man, I thought it was Penumbra. I just really want Penumbra to show up. All right, I got two attack. I can try to fight Mr. Immortal, which means Karma is a covert card that'll end up over here, which is pretty good because I have those covert Black Panther triggers. So let's try. At the very least, I will rescue the bystanders. So I fight Mr. Immortal. Uh, Karma gets gained as a hero. And we do the fight effect here. Reveal the top card of the villain deck. It is a villain. Henchman villain. So Mr. Immortal goes back in. There's some cool farming stuff you can do with Mr. Immortal, depending on the other villain groups and the masterminds and the, the schemes. But uh, kind of like what I just did. I got the bystander, but he's, he's back. That's, that would have happened anyway. Whew. Yeah, MCU uh, also reports came out from the MCU saying that they were going to dial back the quantity of projects, and I think that's a good thing. You know, I've always been a quality over quantity kind of person, especially, you know, in the video game industry when it comes to uh, being a fan of that and delays and such. So, hey, Karma showed up. And I can trigger uh, Black Panther there. Okay. Let's move this. Right hand turn 12. By the way, thank you to, thank you to all of you who filled out the uh, content survey that I put up. I think over 40 people have filled it out so far. So uh, I wasn't planning on doing it, but it was suggested to me. And uh, I'm excited to find out exactly what you guys have come here for. All right. Circus of Crime is entering as we revealed them. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't have a discard pile. So Channel Fire is not going to do much for me. So let's play Channel Time to draw two cards. And uh, see what I get. Here we go. One, two. Still, I don't have a discard pile, so we're going to draw two cards again. Get all these grays out of here. Draw two more cards. Uh, I mean, channel, channel time, not channel fire. I guess I could do a recruit. Well, there's no point. Uh, here we go. Draw two. One, two. All right. Okay. Maybe I don't have... Uh... I do have the Soaring Flight card, I think, somewhere. So how do I want to play this? So I could Berserk Bend Steel. I have at least one, two, three, four, five, six attack if I want it. Yeah. No, I liked I liked phase four a lot. But even I'll admit some of the things were rough around the edges. There were some projects where I don't again, I don't know if this was production delay due to everything that was going on at the time, but um, there were some things that definitely needed more time in the cooker. Um, like uh, Thor Love and Thunder, Multiverse of Madness. Uh, Falcon the Winter Soldier, uh, even the end of WandaVision, all projects that I really enjoyed uh, to varying degrees, but they definitely all needed more time. You know what I mean? Um, okay. So what am I doing here? Um, don't have Light Show, so I can't activate that. Again, max attack is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, plus Berserk. Emma Frost is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, 
As far as recruit power, I have one, two, three, four, five different card names. So I could get Tricky's two, four, five, six, seven, eight recruit. And here's me without a rare in the HQ. Hmm. Maybe I'll go for another KO because left side can do all the KOing it needs within the deck. Okay, um, let's do this. Let me peek at the HQ. That'll, that'll be what I do. Do I want any of these? I have to move the HQ. So, excessive violence, two attack, and <clears throat> Xander is invincible. Gives me potentially a three recruit, which is okay. Excessive violence don't have a lot of... I have some strength, some instinct, so not bad, but I do have to use excessive violence to do that, and I could keep using that on Mr. Immortal if I want. I've also got the uh, common legion here. I already have one out here, Ben Steel, Ben Light. I don't think I want to go for a light show. I I would um I wouldn't necessarily be surprised. Um, there were you know as much as I enjoyed both projects to a degree, I definitely enjoyed Wandavision more. Um, even though I love Doctor Strange and I enjoy Sam Raimi stuff a lot, you could kind of tell that it wasn't as connected. In you know, inter, what am I trying to say? Uh, within Scarlet Witch's story, you know, even though you can, I, I had canon and things all the time to make myself feel better about it. But uh, passion, compassion, draw a card or draw a card depending on violence or kindness. Plus, this gives me more tech, which is a class. Well, I have tricky and simple. In a nutshell, I need to move the HQ along. So, what am I going to pick up? Let's pick up a lot of stuff. I, more colors, more colors. So, let's go ahead and play tricky. Let's commit to it. We're going to get ourselves. Um, for recruit, we have at least uh, those names we already looked at. Hey, AJ Scott, thank you for the tier one sub. Uh, how's it going? Long time no see. I am doing well. I just returned from a brief vacation and back to streaming. So I'm having a lot of fun talking to you guys, playing some Legendary, taking it easy today because I don't want to miss anything. There's a lot going on in this setup. So um, welcome back and thank you so much for the sub. Very kind of you. Uh, okay. Let's just play all my operatives, I guess. Five, six, seven, eight. So what's my best pickup? What's not going to get in my way? Probably passion and compassion. Because, again, I just got to spend one extra of something and I get a card draw. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take that. For two. Down to six. And... All right. More piercing energy. I will take the divided legion. I don't know why I'm saying divided. They're all divided. Everything's divided. Everything's on a cob. All right. Down three more. All right, let's play everything else. I've got Soldier, Soldier. And then I've got Ben Steel and Ben Light. Do I want a total of four recruit or three attack? I am invincible. I am invisible is decent. So I think I'm going to take that too. Um, I'll play Ben Light for the fourth recruit so I can take uh, both of these, even though... I might only use the Drac side. Again, I'm fighting Emma Frost, so I gotta load up on a bunch of different non-grays so I can get a handful of non-grays and hit her. Um, okay, and she's gonna get rid of some of my cards later. Oh yes, replace with... Finally! Where have you guys been? They were mad that I said something bad about their show. Um, one of my favorite hero sets. Falcon Winter Soldier. Relocate and reload, because I got Dodge and Dark Memories. I'm going to have to invest into them a little bit. All right, let's try to fight Mr. Immortal once again. Just because. To attack. Top card of the villain deck is Squirrel Girl, which is a villain in this game. So he's going back into the sewers. And we're going to have to face Squirrel Girl next turn. Speaking of Squirrel Girl, I think I did put up Don't Feed the Green Squirrel Girl Path on Legendary Legacy Adventure. If I didn't, I apologize. I'm going to get that one up. But that was, that was a really fun path, I recall. Okay. I got about uh, almost half the created paths up. And I'll get back to those when I can. It is a project I really do want to finish. I, did, I even did one over break. Uh, one. I mean, I did 10 of them over break. Maybe 12. Okay, moving over. 
Turn 13. Here we go. We've got... And wow, we've got 24 people watching. So welcome. Thank you for coming by. Especially after this break. It's very, very nice to see so many of you. Welcome, welcome. All right, Squirrel Girl comes in. And she... As this rule, you can't fight Squirrel Girl if you played more than one card this turn. I, haven't, I forgot about her card. Escape Fortified the Sidekick stack. While it's fortified, sidekicks can't be recruited or gained. Of course, this comes from the Civil War set, so it really hurts things like Captain America Secret Avenger. Also, uh, Sword of Black Panther, who depend on sidekicks for some things. So, that in mind, I do have some combos. Um, I want to play Tsunami of Justice after I play Karma. Or I can draw a card with Gathering Rain Clouds. Let me just play this out in my head. So I play this, maybe get some attack. That's going to be, let's say I get two attacks. Throwing a shot in the dark here. Three, four, five, I can KO a card from my hand. Uh, six attack, I can get seven attack. M, M is at 11 this turn. Let's see what Karma gives me. I might be able to hit that, depending on what Karma does. So here we go. Starting with Karma, really top card of the hero deck. That's my hero deck on the left-hand side. Uh, you get attack equal to its printed attack. Okay. So that's two printed attack. Um, from Battlestar. I guessed it would be two, and, and there it is. So, two attack from Karma. Now, let's do a KO of probably the Shield Agent. Otherwise, I'm going to have... That's fine. Um, all right. Three more attack. I'm at five. You may KO a card from your hand or discard pile. No discard pile. Let's go ahead and KO the Shield Agent from my hand. And uh, Shield Trooper, six attack. Officer, two recruit. And then we've got... A decision to make. There we go. So, um, neither will activate the superpower. So I get one attack or one recruit. Seven attack. Um, I can't fight Squirrel Girl. I've played more than one card this turn. So, the most I can spend on attack is five. So I don't need the attack at all. Unless I want to try fighting Mr. Myrtle twice. There's no point. So I'll just keep coming back. So let's get the Recruit. Maybe pick up the three-cost Cloak and Dagger if I feel like it by playing Gathering Rain Clouds. Which is not Gathering Storm Clouds, it's Gathering Rain Clouds because that's her card from the core set. So uh, let's do some hitting of stuff. Starting with the Circus of Crime. See if we can land on a zero cost. And it is zero cost. And uh, cool. I almost would have rather drawn the card, but I'm not 100%. And that was it. I already spent three. I have three left. So, yep. That was three, four, five. Six. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I should have four left, right? Yeah. Two, five, six. No, I played I played this one. So, I'm at three. I had three and three. All right. Let's fight Mr. Immortal. Wish me luck again. Two attack. Top card of the villain deck is another squirrel girl she comes back again to bring mr immortal back in and making it more likely she's going to escape which is not great uh free recruit the only two cards i can take again we got the one that gives me sidekicks or uh, i can take this one which is above and below neither of these are great at this point but again i do want to saturate my decks with non grays so these are identical in the fact that one side has two attack, one side has an effect that doesn't give any attack. But I do want more Cobra to do more KOing, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, take above and below. Plus the ranged triggers a lot of stuff too, the Storm Black Panther. No problem, see you later. Alright, and that uh, card we revealed earlier comes back in. Thank you for the hydration. I hear that song, Good Vibrations, but I hear hydration. Okay. And that's not a parody, probably for a reason, and I should not make it the thing. You know what I just thought in my head? I just thought a thought I probably shouldn't say, and that thought that I probably shouldn't say was, well, I haven't seen a scheme twist in a while. <laughs> Even though I know Squirrel Girl's coming in next, but still. It's not like I have an extra villain group in here. Oh, let me actually move this first. There's going to be a lot of divided cards taking up space here in a good way. Limited space. We've got another squirrel girl coming in. Once again, I have to play it. I can't. So it's impossible to fight both squirrel girls in a turn unless I play a card that gives me six attack. Um, or two piercing energy for one. 
So if I play Split Eardrums, I can take out a Squirrel Girl with two piercing. Simple will do that too. I always do. Watch, the next card will be his twist. Another thing I can do about it. Um, I, once again, I have no discard pile for Channel Fire. So as far as Emma, let's do, let's start tracking her attack. I'm getting close to um, the, the point of the game where she's hittable. Um, she's a 10. I have two gray cards. Can I get 10 attack? One, two, three, six. And some card draws might get me there. So since Channel Fire cannot do anything right now, I do not have a discard pile. Let's take the uh, Channel Time card draws and uh, draw two cards. One, two. Okay. Are we going to just keep drawing cards again? Because again, I do not have any discard pile cards. So we'll do it again. Another Channel Time. Draw two more cards. One, two. Now what's my attack potential? I have got uh, one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then a berserk. Actually, she went up to eleven now. She's yeah, she's at twelve now. So never mind, because I have four graves now. I gotta get rid of those. And I messed. I I didn't fight Squirrel on purpose. I was trying to draw stuff, but now I can't fight her anyway because I drew. Um, I played more than one card already. So jokes on me. Actually, hold on. I can still fight Squirrel Girl with Piercing Energy because this gets through all fight restrictions. So let's take out a Squirrel Girl and then say, um, ignore your rules. I got Piercing Energy. So let's play Split Eardrums. Yes, we do get to ignore fight restrictions. Let's fight the one on the rooftops for two Piercing Energy. Um, aha. All right. Get out of there. That always feels like cheating when I do that. Piercing energy will make you feel that way. I can get a lot of recruit. I can't fight the other squirrel girl, and I might fail with Mr. Immortal. So let's just recruit more things. Let's do that. So let's go ahead and go with Tricky once again. Do I have uh, four different card names? Five different card names. I said four before. I meant five. Yeah, Tricky, Passion, Compassion, Ben Steel, Ben Light. These are not play. They'll, the names all count. Also, these ones I did play. Um, so I got four recruit. Let's get uh, two more recruit from the operatives. Five, six recruit. And uh, let's start by taking the divided Falcon and Winter Soldier. Uh, relocate and reload for four because I do like that card a lot. I like their whole set a lot. And all right, we got another tricky and simple for five. If I want it, let's play the Graves. I got two soldiers, two attack. I mean, I might as well fight Mr. Immortal right now. I don't know why I keep showing him to you. You know what he does. Top card of the villain deck is a Scheme Twist. I've never been happier to be right and jinxing myself because in doing so, Mr. Immortal is actually defeated. It's I, it's that I have that instinct. Every time I feel like a twist is coming, it is. But uh, it wasn't a villain or a bystander, so he gets the heck out of here. Now, I'll probably recruit more cards. Do I have Light Show? I didn't play any light show cards. Sure didn't. I could do an excessive uh, kindness. I'll play Ben Light. Free recruit. Let's go with compassion. Let's see what else I draw. Excessive kindness, draw a card. I will recruit Ben Steel, Ben Light. They are from Black Widow, the most recent expansion. Let's recruit Ben Steel Ben Light with Excessive Kindness, which means we spend one X to recruit to recruit this. So we spent three instead of two. There's another one. And I'll activate Compassion, which will let me draw a card. It's an operative, which gives me two. Just enough for a second one of these. Again, I want to saturate my decks. Don't really care uh, what I get too badly. But I just want Graves not to show up. And saturate I will. Plus, the more cards I have that are multicolor, the better uh, Legion is not uh, Dark Memories ability will, will work. And Wolfram, if you didn't check it out, um, I did a complete card overview of all the cards in the Black Widow set and gave my thoughts on the set after playing a little bit. You can find that on my YouTube channel under uh, Legendary Overviews if you want to check it out. And then also check out LegendaryCardGame.com, uh, Catherine Metroidica's site. 
He's got all the card images up there so you can peruse them at your leisure. Check out the sets before you buy them. Um, okay, there's the twist. I gotta watch out for these officers. Just when I start to saturate my decks, I'm gonna have a lot of officers coming in. So, once again, for each twist in the KO pile, including this one, which is three, and there's a lot more twists coming up. Uh, put a card from the shield officer stack next to the scheme. So, one, two, three. That's four officers there, so let me make sure that we can all know how many officers are in that stack. By putting a four right there. There's four of them there, which means that uh, four just left the stack, so that's... Uh, 25 left, no, 24 left, and uh, yep, that's all I got to do, and this game's going to transform into its other side, or I got to spend attack to get these officers out, which might be a blessing in disguise. Um, they're Hydra Traders, so I got to spend three attack to fight one, and I can return those to the stack instead of gaining them. And I have a pretty empty city, so I might just do that. I mean, I have to, I'm going to lose. Um, I can't have 15 there. At least it's generous with 15, but this will ramp up quickly. All right. Um, oh, yes. This is the HQ for the left-hand side. How much attack can I get? Let's do... Uh... Let's get as much attack as I can get. So above... Oh, no, hold on. Can I get the rare this turn? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, shoot. I can get the rare King and Queen of Wakanda this turn. So hold on. Let me look at the rare. Let me make a decision here. So, five attack, reveal any number of multi-class cards from your hand. Gain that many sidekicks. Oh, boy. Chat. Does this include divided cards? The answer is yes, right? They are multi-class cards in my hand. I just don't encounter this that often. Um, I will definitely get this because Micro didn't say I couldn't use all the special sidekicks. So, I do have all the special sidekicks in there. The rare mechanics, I, I don't encounter that often, so I'm, I'm unsure. Um, so let's... I guess we won't fight anything. Well, I need three, four, five, six, seven. I need all seven of these recruit points to get the rare. Um, which won't give me enough attack to hit anything. Which means playing this for two attack won't do anything, so I might as well play below to trigger all the ranged abilities. Um... Let's start. It's probably in a special rules or in the Civil War rule sheet or something. Or not. It's maybe in the FAQ. I'm going to treat it as if it is because that's the intention, right? The rest of the set doesn't have any uh, dual class. It just has divided. Right? All right. Let's play below. Plus they recruit for stuff under the sewers. So there. Now we'll just activate everything. I get to draw some cards. So gathering rain clouds. One recruit. Draw a card. Hold on, I'm about to draw. My hand's on the deck. Do I want to draw a card or do I want to draw it if it costs one or more? There's really no way for me to know. So I'll just I'll just keep with the original plan. All right, it's a trooper. I draw the trooper. Not much I can do there. So let's play uh, light this time. Uh, three more. Top card of my deck. It costs zero. So it does not cost one or more, so I do not get to draw it, unfortunately. I can't tuck it because it wasn't investigate. That's okay. That wasn't the plan anyway. Five, six, seven, recruit. Let's go ahead and pick up King and Queen of Wakanda. Yes. I missed the button. All right. Sweet. I got my first rare of the game, I believe. Not the rare I wanted to see. Oh, I got Speedball and uh, Nimarita. That's a good card, too. Yeah, uh, no attack left for me. Oh, but I have three recruit towards this spot. But it costs four, so... That was simply, let's pick up the rare turn. Now, at the beginning of the game, I said left side was going to do a better job at uh, taking down Emma, but right side has done a better job thinning the deck, which is funny. Left side has more KO power on the cards. Right side has more fighters. Thank you, Yichis. While the divided card is in your hand, and or the issue, it counts as all. Well, yes, that part I know. It's just the phrasing of the rare. So technically, it's a dual class... Or it's a multi-class card. Yeah, it's just the different word trips me up sometimes because I get really into the technical jargon. But it is, yes, that does mean it's a multi-class card. Right, right, right. Again, otherwise it wouldn't make much sense. But uh, thank you for checking. Which is great. That'll help me out if I don't draw a bunch of graves. Watch me draw a bunch of graves now. 
Turn 16 is another Cat's Eye. Once again, Cat's Eye gets plus two attack in Moonlight. I haven't worried about Moonlight Sunlight for a while, but let me just double check. That's even on, even, even, even. So it is Super Sunlight. Now I really want that, that effect you guys are talking about. That sounds really cool. Um, so many effects I want to do. Anyway, three attack fight KO one of your heroes. Three piercing energy, or three VP. So I got to spend three piercing energy. Um, I could excessive violence cat's eye. Or I could, okay, so I can play split eardrums, take out squirrel girl really at any time. It doesn't have to be the first card I play. Because you get to the fight restriction. Take a look at uh, the divided Drax here. So excessive violence reveal the top card of your deck. If it's strength or instinct, draw it. Which is a good chance that the top card is strength or instinct. But I have to use excessive violence to do that. Which means I'm going to have to play the attack side of split personality. Hit cat side for four. And then maybe draw something. But I think it would make better. It would be a better choice to uh, hit both of these right now. Uh, Arlie, thank you so much for the resub. Personally, I do like the Sunlight Moonlight mechanic. I think it fits really well into randomized games. It's a little bit of extra bookkeeping, but as somebody who obviously doesn't mind that, uh, I like the positive effects of it. Um, it's fun because you have a bunch of randomized stuff. And it's like, oh, now I have to worry about the odds and evens in the HQ, which you don't normally think about. It's a very unique mechanic in that way and uh, makes you stop and, and take a breath and, and look at stuff. And uh, it's, it's, it's kind of like... And follow me here. It's kind of like a transforming villain. They don't directly transform, but uh, they change their attack. It's, it's a little. It's a one step up from something like the Conjure Guardians that change based on what city space they're in. But I like changing their attack based on what the entire HQ looks like. I think that's pretty cool. Um, I'm hearing a lot. I'm hearing from people that they would expect sunlight, sunlight, moonlight, and midnight suns. But hey, we expected waking nightmare in Doctor Strange and the Shadows of Nightmare. We didn't see that, so who knows? Um, okay, let's hit them both by doing the following. We're going to play I Am Invisible and a Soldier for three total attack. We will then play Split Eardrums for two Piercing Energy. The two Piercing Energy will allow me to hit Squirrel Girl even though she has the fight restriction because Piercing Energy don't care about that. Um, so she's out of here for two Piercing. And uh, because it is Moonlight or Sunlight, we can hit Cat's Eye for... Uh, oh, I should probably play my two operatives first. Oh, three operatives. So one, two, three. I'll play them all. I will take out Cat's Eye. Uh, again, thinning the deck on the right-hand side. Um, and I will KO this operative. Okay. Three recruit left. I'll keep saturating. Saturate away. Any thoughts on who the final Infinity Saga heroes are? With phasing confirmed, I'm convinced Division will be one. Here is my prediction. Are you ready? I've said this a couple times in the Discord. My prediction for the five heroes, I am I am on the opposite side of Montex. I would not like to see Piercing Energy. I think that Shatter is the superior Piercing Energy. I'd like to see Shatter return uh, instead. That's just my opinion. Um, heroes for Infinity Saga. Here we go. Captain Marvel. Ant-Man and the Wasp. Doctor Strange featuring Wong, Vision and Scarlet Witch, and Black Panther maybe featuring Okoye or Shuri. That's my prediction. Um, okay. Black Panther and Doctor Strange are in the solicit. Everything else is what I think. Captain Marvel might have Coulson on it. That would be cool too. Coulson or Fury on there. I'm pretty sure we're going to see the divided cards from Guardians come back because it's a small box. How else do you fit all those characters in there? Um, first time we'll see Wong on a card, if that is the case. Would love it. All right, turn 17 is another Master Strike that we haven't seen in a while. <laughs> Waking Nightmares all around. So, stack this strike next to the Mastermind. Uh, Emma Frost, three, four strikes have been played. And each player's Awakened Nightmare for each strike stacked here. Wait. No, hold on. Only three have been played. I pressed it twice by accident. So let me reduce that. Oh, that's right. The first button didn't do anything. All right, maybe press it twice. Yep, that's definitely only three strikes that have been played. Um, so three Waking Nightmares. 
a United Core Avengers set would be so great. Oh, like the big three? That would be neat. I'd be down for that. Um, okay, three Wicked Nightmares. So uh, I don't have a choice here. Actually, um, I do. So remind me. Uh, maybe I'm overthinking it. So do these Wicked Nightmares happen consecutively? So let's say... Because it's been a while. Let's say I pick Storm and Black Panther for the first Waking Nightmare. I discard it. I draw another non-gray. Can I then choose that card instead of Hercules and, and Amadeus Cho for the second Waking Nightmare? I think I can because they happen in order. But I might not have that option. So let's go ahead and uh, get rid of uh, Storm and Black Panther. First Waking Nightmare. I don't, you know, don't have the choice anyway. Second Waking Nightmare. And third Waking Nightmare. And that's how she does it. Get my handful of grays. Uh, going over to the right-hand side. Sure saturated my hand, but... Uh... Hey, Mr. Giraffe, I will get that in just a moment. Let me go ahead and first do my first Waking Nightmare. Okay. Second Waking Nightmare. Third Waking Nightmare. Three of the same card. All right. Right side fared a bit better. After all that. And now I will... Take my hydrate. Thank you very much. Moving on. I've got four recruit and I've got two attack. And I can pick up a couple of things or one of two things. But I think, thanks to the synergies that I've got. Oh, I can't forget about these officers. Um, twist will happen. I'll be in trouble, but I can't take an officer because I'm on the uh, open hydro or not open hydro warfare. Um, that's the uh, Illuminati uh, Open Hydra Revolution side, so I have to spend three attack to fight them. But let me go ahead and take Flea and fight. I can phase. I can get extra attack with fight with the with the range triggers, which looks great to me. That's going to cost me four. Two attack doesn't go anywhere. So I've said this before. I even told one of the upper deck employees uh, this. Oh, there's the rare, and I got uh, two divided cards. My dream team set, like. Uh, Fantastic Four United would be a original Defenders set. Oh, I didn't uh, fill up the HQ. Hold on. Let me do this in order. So, uh, refill from the left-hand side. Get rid of this. So, it would be a hero set with um, Hulk, uh, Namor, Silver Surfer, and Doctor Strange on there. Maybe with cameos by Valkyrie. And uh, I think that would be really cool. It wouldn't be possible unless they can start mixing... Fantastic Four into other sets again. But that would be my, my my dream hero set. I think that would be a lot of fun. I love I love that team. I think it's my favorite Marvel team is the OG Defenders. It's just so weird and I love it. All right, turn 18 is another twist. I'm getting in trouble with all these officers. I could lose this thing. I have a decent attack. But here's what happens. Here we go. There are four twists. So four more officers going to the stack. Wait, is that right? How many options? Yeah, there was already one. I put three there. And I put four more. One, two, three, four. Four more. The stack loses four officers. One, two. Should be at 20. One more. All right. They go into the pile. There are eight officers there. And unfortunately, I have to spend recruit to get them now. I have to gain them. So kind of my bad for not fighting them. That's not great. So on the next twist, it's going to go up to 13. I won't lose yet, but I could lose it with some really bad back-to-back -back, uh, twists anyway. So let's move back to the Secret Hydra Corruption side. I can pay three recruit to have the player of choice gain one. I might just sabotage left-hand side by having left-hand side gain them all. <laughs> Right-hand side is doing a bit better. But uh, we'll see what I can even do. How much recruit do I have? Uh, actually, Rocket will help with this. So let's... We, I'm getting scared. Let's get some officers out of there. So we're going to go with Tricky. Um, I have five card names. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, actually. So I get four recruit. Um, Hydra operative. Let's draw some cards. Oh, shoot, though. I have a discard pile that's full. Hold on. Maybe I don't want to do that. So let me look at channel fire. How much attack is going to give me? It's waking nightmare. So plus one attack for each class of my discard pile. So I got, I got strength, covert, ranged, tech, Instant. All five. So, channel fires with five attack. I can get five, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
And the Mastermind is 8, 9, 10, 11. So if I wanted to, I could hit Emma Frost this turn. Which is the good news. The bad news is there are... I would have I would have to play simple instead of tricky. And if I do that and I get another twist, the shield officer attack is going to go up to 13. And that might be insurmountable. So I think to not lose the game, I have to forego this hit on the Mastermind. There are five more twists in the villain deck. And uh, I got a I better safe than sorry on this one, as much as it pains me to say. So I'm going to go ahead and do channel time instead. Hopefully get some more recruit. One, two. A little bit. So channel time is going to give me those two cards. Send my two operatives. I'm at seven recruit. That's up two officers I can rescue or get or whatever the word is for what I'm doing right here. Four, five, six. Um, I can get one more from Compassion. We've got uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I can get plus one attack from Relocate, but uh, I can't hit anything. So let's just dodge this and go for some more Recruit as best we can. So I put this in my discard pile and I draw. Okay, another Channel Taunt is taunting me. This is still worth five attack. So I can still get 5, 6, 7, 8 attack, but she's going to be at 9, 10, 11, 12 now. So let's just draw two more cards. Use him, use his powers for, uh, for recruit purposes. Wish I could have put him back in the stack, though. Okay, shuffling up. One more. I'll have another opportunity. All right. Let's keep getting recruit. Uh, Xandar is invincible. Hey, guess what? I've never triggered this before. If there are no villains in the city, you get plus one recruit. So that puts me up to 10 recruit. That's three officers rescued. You know what? I'm going to use the right term. It's not officers rescued. I am paying three recruit to blank Hydra sympathizers. What am I doing to them? Am I fighting them with three recruit? Am I bribing them? What's my adjective here? That's where I'm a little lost. So I can't, I can get one more recruit. That'll be 11. That's not enough to get to 12. So let me just gain three of them. So three, six, nine. I'm at one left. And by by me saying I'm gaining them, I mean I'm going to have the other side gain them. So these are all going to the left-hand side. I'm so sorry, left-hand side. Um, okay. So now there are five. I think that was the right decision. I got to survive this. There's nothing to fight. I can get a sidekick, I suppose. So I'll play Compassion for one more recruit. Did I count wrong? Let me let me re recount. So that was four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You're right. I counted Compassion early, so I got one from Compassion. Thank you. I don't know why I got off by one. So before I, you know, that doesn't even do anything for me. So I had exactly nine. I would say bribing would be the proper adjective since the bribe keyword lets you pay recruit to fight. That's what it feels like. So I'll, I'll, I'll continue to say that. And uh, I'll get my one, two, three, four, five attack or whatever, but it's not going to do anything. Let's move forward. Again, I love transforming schemes. It just keeps the game fresh as you're playing it. All right. I hope next time I get to use that Waking Nightmares. This hand is great. Okay, I can use the officers to get the officers this turn. I've also got King and Queen of Wakanda coming up, but turn 19 gives me Flatman. James Q. Flatman. That's not his name. I don't know. Uh, five attack, size, cha size change and covert. Fight KO a card from your discard pile. Nice. I can KO an officer. That would be fun, but I'll probably get rid of my uh, other grace first. Size changing means... If I have any Covert cards, let's see, let me, before I check, this, you have to play the cards for each card, well, that's Microsoft copy. If I play a Covert card, Flatman gets minus two attack. I think that's how it works. I keep forgetting how size changing and Cosmic Threat work in a vacuum. But I have this cool little thing, so I can uh, check, just to be sure. Yep, see, there's no icons. If you played a matching class, two less. Yep, so this will cost me a three to fight if I play a covert, which I, which I will. Um, let's go ahead and play King and Queen of Wakanda. Five attack. 
Reveal, reveal any number of multi-class cards from your hand. Gain that many sidekicks. I'll reveal one, two multi-class cards. It could have been more, but I'll take them. I have not got a single sidekick here, so I got to shuffle up the sidekick stack. I think this has got to be the longest game I've ever played without getting a single, without recruiting a single sidekick. But I had a lot of two costs in the HQ. Um, I spent some on officers. The whole thing was weird. Plus, I, I'm still not recruiting one. I'm gaining one, so still haven't recruited one in 19 turns. I think that's a record. Anyway, I get two. Looks like I get two standard ones, which are okay. They're grays, but when you play them, they're gone out of your hand. So uh, and that won't affect Emma. Okay. That was a tech card. Speaking of Emma, she's at 11 attack right now. Flatman, I can fight once I play Tsunami of Justice. I can't activate Tsunami of Justice because it's a covert card. I don't have any covert cards. But I could activate Tsunami of Water, which is going to be 5 towards the Mastermind. So I can't hit Emma Frost this turn. Unrelated to the current scheme, but am I the only one who thinks it's weird to have Maria Hill officers when you're fighting Mastermind Maria Hill? Um... You could have Maria Hill Officers, Maria Hill Mastermind. There was something else with Maria Hill. Um, I think uh, we, we kind of have an inside joke where Maria Hill's personally attacking me on my stream. And I think she just clones herself. I'm just going to say they're all Maria Hill LMDs. And that's what I'm going to go with. Um, so let's go ahead and play uh, Gathering Rain Clouds for the one recruit. And most importantly, the range trigger. So we can play Tsunami of Water. I'm at 8. And I get plus 2 against the Mastermind. So I'll just do that like this too little attack towards the mastermind and i play the trooper for a ninth attack on the big die that's 11 total and by my calculations 8 plus 9 10 8 plus 3 is 11 so let me go ahead and actually hit emma frost for the very first time yes let's do it <laughs> yeah it's an easy shield answer when in doubt lmds lmds did it it's like a wizard did it, but it's LMDs. Um, okay. We've got Assume Diamond Form. Emma Frost cannot be fought again until the start of your next turn. Now, this side might have been able to hit her, so that's a little disappointing. But at least this one will be out of the way. Um, as far as Recruit, I've got one, two, three more Recruit. That gives me four, and I can get one more Officer out of there. High priority to do that. Um... There are four officers left. That cost me three. There we go. Oh, again, on this side again, making the sacrifices. Even though this is the side with the rare. But you know what? I'll have a bunch of officers. And sidekicks. If I can draw all the officers with sidekicks, I can get all the other officers out of there. So. Here we go. Okay, Um, is there any DC fans in the audience? Is there a DC equivalent of LMDs? I know there's Marvel DC equivalents of each other. Are there, and what are they called? I do not know. Because LMDs are so prevalent in the Marvel Universe. In S.H.I.E.L.D. and everything, they keep using them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Even on the show. Show used LMDs to a big extent. Um, all right. That's what we got. Turn 20 is another Circus of Prime. Give me a little bit of a break. I cannot fight Emma Frost because of the thing. So I wish I had like a big X to put. You know, I was going to turn her upside down. Just so I know I can't fight her. Um, and I, I could have fought her this turn. She's at nine. I think I could have fought it. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or three Berserks I probably could have gotten there. So instead, I can fight Flatman with two Piercing Energy. I can fight the Circus of Crime, do more KOs over here. Okay, if you do remember, I'm actually very interested to know what they're called. Although I've got Light Show, so check it out. I got three. So the way that Light Show works is if you have two... Oh, gosh. If you have at least two Light Show abilities, you get to activate not all the Light Show abilities you have. That's excessive. You get to pick one. Pretty sure that's how Light Show works. Again, that's been a while. But uh, let's be thorough. Yes, once per turn, if you use, played at least two Light Show cards this turn, you can use a single Light Show ability from any of those cards. 
I think uh, Legion uses Light Show. He's probably the weakest when it comes to Light Show. But like, uh, as it, Jubilee's, I think, the strongest. But that'll give me one, two, three, four, five, six recruit. And let me get two officers out of that stack. And I can still hit Flatman for two piercing energy. So let's do it. Um, I will start with the, the, the Light Show stuff. So three Ben Lights. One, two, and the third one here, Ben Light. I will activate Light Show, which means I get to press this button. And I get a total of five recruit. One, two, three, then two more from Light Show. Five, and uh, Operative makes six. So let's go ahead and uh, get two more officers. We're gonna, again, give them to the left-hand side. And I can do that, right? I can't just, there's no reason why I can't keep putting them over there. Play every choice, gain one as a hero. Yep, per, per three. So we're down to two. Feel a little bit better. I was getting worried. So we will... Hmm, I could do split personality and reload and draw a card. No point. Playing spit ear... Spit ear... No, gross. I'm not playing spit ear drums. <laughs> playing split ear drums. That's some other character I don't want to talk about. So I will fight Flatman. Um, oh, he's already... By the way, uh, I played three covert cards. So he's down to three attack anyway. So I don't need to piercing energy him. But I'll do it anyway. Although, if I don't, I can hit both things. So, yeah, if I got the two attack, he's at he's at three. I need four. I can't get to four unless I maybe draw something. So what we're going to do instead, we're going to draw a card with the reload first. See what happens. So we're going to be lame and take the two attack. Split personality, two attack. Reload has tech draw card. I will do so. And it's a soldier. It's actually just what I needed. Well, it would have been, but I can still only hit one thing. I got five attack. This is three and this is three. So, oh well, it was worth a shot. Let's go ahead and hit Flatman for three attack. Fight KO a card from your discard pile. What do I have? Lots of good stuff to KO. Uh, let's get rid of this operative. Uh, not a single wound. It's not a wound heavy setup either, which I enjoy. Sometimes I get tired of wounds. And that's it. All right. We made quick work of that officer stack. And when it transforms, I can use attack to put them back in the stack, which is great. So there are five more twists. And each one's going to put five officers, then six, then seven, then eight, then nine. So I really got to be on top of that. And I can hit Emma Frost again next turn. Well, I mean, if I get enough attack, I can. There's no restriction. Four, five, six. Once again, I got Channel Fire in time with uh, no discard pile. So... Looks like I have another bunch of card draws coming up. Speaking of card draws, do I have any sidekicks in hand? I sure did get a lot last time. We are about an hour and 45 minutes into the stream. Thanks for being here. I'm having a lot of fun with this one. So, again, Micro Disney, thank you so much for this setup. I'm going to blast with, uh, with the way you've set up the hero deck here. By the way, if you'd like to submit your own viewer challenge, go ahead and put an exclamation challenges and uh, write it in there. And if... Uh, I pick yours. I'll be playing it on a stream. If you are a Bagel Top member, an officer or above, I will roll between all officers each time I do a stream and uh, pick one of yours at least. All right. Uh, turn 21 is going to be another Master Strike right now. <laughs> so she is hittable, but she's going to mess up my hands big time. I have four Waking Nightmares. Each player has got four Waking Nightmares to do. Um, look at all this recruit I can get. <laughs> um, um, let's, uh, do, let's, uh, start with Karma. Karma in the discard pile. And I get one. It's an agent. Gotta pick something else. Let's pick the, uh, weakest of these three cards uh, above and below. Two. There's a sidekick. Let's pick the second weakest. Three. And, all right, I will not pick the rare. Let's hold on to the rare, even though it's not gonna give me anything. <laughs> Unless I sidekick first. Okay. Four. Maybe the sidekick will give me some divided and I can get some more sidekicks. But that's a lot of grays. Well, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Why do I have eight cards out here? Did I mess something up? Somebody help me. I think I just drew two extra cards. By accident. Was it the officer and the trooper at the top of this? Which means they would have been in my hand. Man, I think I just really messed it up. I wasn't paying attention. 
and nothing didn't nothing let me draw extra cards, so I do not know why I have eight cards. Anyway, let me move over to the other side and then maybe I'll remember. Maybe I waking nightmare incorrectly. Um Let's start. Four waking nightmares. One. Maybe I didn't discard one. One. Two. Three. And... How much piercing do I have? Let's draw some more cards after this. Let's go four. So nobody else saw what I did, I guess, huh? Definitely didn't draw any extra cards. Okay. Because I can't remember what the heck happened. Just to be fair, I'm going to shuffle all these. And I'm going to take six of them. Put the other two on top of my deck. Which I guess won't matter unless I don't get the sidekick. So we'll see. Because I have no idea what I just did. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Which means I'm going to draw these two anyway. That might... I might have gotten the rare one I couldn't have and I can't keep track. So, whatever. Apologies if that changed things. Hopefully it didn't change things too much. So, let's start with the sidekick. Draw these two cards. So, now I'm stuck with a bunch of stuff. I'll have to watch this back and I'll face palm with whatever the heck I did. I will play uh, King, Queen of Wakanda, which is just going to be five attack. I don't have any number of multi-class heroes at all. It's like it goes away. Then we've got uh, one more attack. It is. I didn't even change the HQ. That tripped me up and I forgot doing everything. Thank you. Um, so I'm at six attack total. And as far as recruit, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine recruit. Um, I will start by getting the other two Maria Hills out of... Well, no, they're not Maria Hills. They are Hydra Sympathizers. I will bribe two of them for six. I'm at three left. They both go into my side. And, uh... Yeah, Emma Frost is 8, 9, 10, 11, or 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Um, so let's just fight the Circus of Prime. See what happens. Down to three. Top card of my deck is not a zero cost card, so I draw it. Maybe I should have saved it for the other side, but I didn't. It's alright. So what do I want here on the divided card? Do I want four attack will do nothing, so I might as well uh, play Gathering Rain Clouds for one more recruit. And I can take the divided uh, flea and fight cloak and dagger for four. And left hand side. There we are. Okay, back on track. It definitely didn't do anything to let me draw those extra cards. Not when it was my turn, so... Probably just, uh... Spaced out there for a second. But now I get to legitimately draw cards. Turn 22 is another Master Strike. The final Master Strike! <laughs> Last chance she's got to... Make me Waking Nightmare everything I've got. So here we go. Five Waking Nightmares per player. Starting with... Split Personality, Split Eardrums. Discard... One Waking Nightmare. Two Waking Nightmares. Let's do the same one. Three Waking Nightmares. Four Waking Nightmares. And five Waking Nightmares. And I still ended up with a non-gray. That's what happens when you saturate your deck with stuff. Left-hand side. Only six cards. One. Two. Three. And then it ends. I have no more non-grays. That is the last time she's going to do that to me. I think. Well, from a Master Strike anyway. I think her, one of her tactics or multiples do that. But we won't think about that right now. We've got uh, this. Five attack that's going nowhere. Two recruit that's going nowhere. All right. Um, for the first time in this game, I am recruiting a sidekick for two recruit. So let's officially do this. And it is Layla Miller who can investigate, which is welcome for a team. I got a lot of Avengers and X-Men. Well, I got Avengers and X-Men over here, so we'll see what I end up investigating for. Plus, it's a tech card for hero class purposes. Plus, I got top deck knowledge with her. 
All right. I got to hit Emma four more times. She's out of tactics. There are five more twists, though. And so I might have to make a choice between hitting her and taking care of officers who are uh, not Hydra sympathizers, but uh, what's the other one? Hydra traitors. Boy, do I have a lot of grays over here because I keep taking them over here. Hey, turn 23. There's another twist. What did I tell you? Here we are. Secret Hydra Corruption is going to transform in a moment. So, uh, there are now five twists. So, five officers enter. That means the stack is five officers lighter. There. One, two, three, four, five. And on the turn, I have a bunch of recruit. I can't even, uh, can't even take care of those. I completely emptied the stacks. So if I get out of control, there's nothing I could have done. So there are five of them there. And then we're going to transform into the side where I have to fight them with attack to put them back. But I'm not going to be able to do that this turn. Not even one. Not even a single one, which is uh, kind of sad. So here we go. Open Hydra Revolution. Got to spend three attack to fight a Hydra Trader. Would love that KO power. But unfortunately, two Beasley recruit. I've got two, four, six, seven recruit. Which means I'm going to recruit something. What's the best card I could take? I think it's the uh, uh, Speedball and Nemo Rita card. Draw two cards or plus three against villains in the bridge of the Mastermind. Yeah, that's going to be a good pickup. Again, especially for the Covert. Also drawing cards is drawing cards is drawing cards. And left-hand side is where the cards are. Still no Penumbra. Where's Penumbra? Love to see it. Um, I get uh, Sidekick as well. It's a Lockjaw. More phasing. More ranged. More fun. Lockjaw. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I need to reshuffle badly. Suddenly, I'm not feeling so confident. Although I won't have any more Waking Nightmares to mess me up. Turn 24 is another Mr. Immortal. Again, I mean, for Master Strikes. Okay, we're really top card of the villain deck. If it's a villain or bystander, Mr. Immortal re-enters. I'm just going to leave him alone. I'm not going to mess with him anymore. I already got my uh, empty city bonus that one time. So, to hit Emma Frost, I need 10 attack this turn as is. Thanks to my two graves I've got. Can I get that? Um, I don't have a discard pile for Channel Fire, unfortunately. I can get two, three, four, five, plus Berserk. I don't think I get, get five attack from two Berserks. It's not likely. However, those two Berserks may give me some dark memories. Each one I Berserk might give me two attack. So it's possible. So let me try. I'm going to start with some Berserks. Here we go. One attack. Berserk means discard the top card of the deck. You get attack equal to its printed attack. And nope, that fails on all counts. So nothing there. Uh, ben, steal. Let's do the second one. Try it again. Top card of my deck. All right. I get two attack. And now there's two classes in the discard pile. So now I can get five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm one short. Right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Unless. I channel time instead. Increase that. Or I can do a recruit. But I only have one recruit if I do all that. So since I'll be one short, let's just draw some more cards and maybe I'll get the second one of these if I'm lucky. So here we go. Draw two cards. Soldier. Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So let me just reevaluate. That would be, I played an instinct. That'll be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. But I have an extra soldier, but that'll put her up to 11. I think I can hit her. Yeah, so that'll be, that'll be, she'll be at 11. She's at 11 right now. That'll be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I can do it. Let's go ahead and play relocate. Relocate is going to give me two more attack plus one for the instinct legion that I played. A soldier puts me up to eight. And then the other soldier puts me up to nine. And then finally we play split personality, which gives me two more attack. That's 11, which equals eight plus the bonus of 
three gray heroes that I have that she gets so we can hit her for 11. Tactic two. It is Contempt for Weaklings. Put a zero cost hero from the KO pile on top of each other player's deck. I mean, the left side is the one I'm saturating anyway. I'll give uh, an attack if I can. I have a, I'm going to throw a Hydra over there. So a Hydra Soldier, which shouldn't confuse me at all, goes to the left-hand side on top of the deck. This is a devastating one in a multiplayer. Everybody's mad at you reading that one. And um, that's the turn. I hit the Mastermind. I'm pretty happy about that. Just three more times. I think right side is going to do it, if time allows. Can't forget about these officers I gotta fight. Turn 25 is... I was worried it was a twist. So can I fight some officers this turn? I can. And I should. I really, really, really should. Starting with the sidekick. To draw two. One. And this a reshuffle. Look at this deck. Look at my discard pile. There's a lot of junk in here. But also some good stuff. I should have played Manly Dullard first to discard a card from my hand. Actually, no. That may, that way it won't end up in the reshuffle. So, it's better. Each one costs three attack, and I get to fight and KO one of my heroes. I get to put them back in the stack, KO one of my heroes. Definitely would rather fight them than spend, recruit, and bribe them. Ooh, yes. Okay. Before I play King, Queen of Wakanda, I got to make a decision. Do I want to draw a card with Boy Genius, try to get another divided card? I don't think so. I want to take the five, eight, nine, because then I can hit three officers. Uh, so let's go ahead and start by playing Manly Dullard to play this on my discarded card from my hand. It's got to be a shield agent, so I discard the shield agent. Now that my deck is full. Actually, I should do this the other way around. I should play... Let me back up a second. I should play King and Queen Wakanda first because I need this multi -card, multi-class card to be in my hand. So um, I will reveal... Back up all the way. Uh, reveal uh, Hercules Amadeus Cho, and then I will... Um, Gain one sidekick, which is Darwin, who I probably won't see for a while because this is the side of my deck, size of my deck. Now I'll do what I said. Up to eight attack with Manly Dollar, discarding the agent, and then the Shield Trooper makes nine. So looking at the scheme one more time, here's what we get to do. Uh, we've got uh, five officers here. For each three attack I spend, I return one of these to the officer stack and KO one of my heroes. So I should probably play all these out first. Um, Oh, I, I have a Hydra Soldier, I guess. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play everything out first. So I'm at 10, and then 2 Recruit. So here we go. 1, 2, 3. These all go back to the stack. That number increases by 3, up to 18 left in the stack, which is good. Um, i got to keep track of that, because a lot of them got gained. And uh, KO 3 of my heroes. Yes, so all 3... Well, these 2 Agents are gone. And then I'll get rid of the trooper. I'll keep the Hydra Soul. No, the Hydra Soul is confusing over here. I'm going to get rid of the Hydra Soul. Put it back where it belongs over there. That cost me nine. Down to one. Um, and we'll go ahead and recruit a sidekick. It is another standard. Okay. Probably got a bunch of grays in hand here. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's a bunch of Marie Hills. So let me clear this up a little bit. We've got two of these. Moving over. Can I generate enough attack to hit the Mastermind this turn? Let's find out. Turn 26. Maybe I won't have the opportunity to because I got to deal with this. It's getting scary. All right, there are now six twists. So six officers. Go on top of these ones. There are now eight officers in this pile. And what's worse is I have to spend recruit to get them out of there. Oh, that's awful. So here's the situation right now. It's not looking great. By my count, there should be 11 officers in the stack. Or 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There's 13. So somewhere along the way I missed one. So uh, let me just add one more. There's 13 officers in the stack. Now, if I don't... By the way, it's going to transform in a second. So if I don't do anything, the next twist is going to put 
uh, seven more in. And that's exactly enough I need to lose. 15 and I lose. So I must clear at least one. But I have something so I can clear as many as I can. But again, they don't go back to the stack, which is also not great. But I don't have much of a choice here. So let's go ahead and transform three recruit to have the player choice gain one as a hero. With 13 left in the stack, if I can... I gotta be real careful that I don't run out of officers there. But uh, let's get as much recruit as I can, starting with Tricky once again. That is... Oh, thank you. Oh, a lot of thinking. So, four recruit because Tricky... I have Tricky, I am Invisible, Sander is Invincible, Ben Steel, Ben Light, and the two Greys. That's a lot of card names. I only needed five. So there we go. That's four. Um, there's definitely villains in the city, but I can do a light show. So that's going to be five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I can excessive violence Mr. Immortal, which will be fun. So let's go ahead and get the four. Five, six. We'll activate the light show ability to get plus two more. That's eight recruit. And the Hydra Operative makes nine. So let's take three of these. One, two, three, down to five in the stack. And these three are going to be gained on the left-hand side once again. I'm sorry, left-hand side. We'll play the Hydra Soldier. And we will play uh, I Am Invisible. Two more attack. Excessive Violence. So reveal the top card of your deck. If it's Instinct or, or Strength or Instinct, draw it. Let's try it. I'm going to Excessive Violence, Mr. Immortal. This is a combo I mentioned earlier. So I spend three attack to hit him. Let's see if he comes back. Top card of the villain deck is a Circus of Crime, which is good to see, but also he does come back. But the excessive violence does work. So top card of my deck is neither. It's two classes. Neither of them are strength or instinct, so I do not draw this, unfortunately. But I know I have a little bit more breathing room to take care of these officers with the Circus of Crime coming up. I got, again, I got another channel fire and I reshuffle my discard pile. It always seems to happen in that order. Four, five, six. Looks like I'll have enough anyway if I, yeah, I have no grays, right? Yep, not a single gray. So Emma will be eight on this turn. No matter what, actually not no matter what. Well, yes, no matter what, she has no more master strikes. Can a Hellion mess me up? I won't think about what'll mess me up. I'll just think about this hand is great for getting those officers out of there. Okay, Circuits of Crime comes in. Let's play what I've got. Let me try and see what Karma gives me. Let me play Karma, which is, again, going to uh, do the thing. Top part of the hero deck is remove his spine, also illegal. Haven't seen this card yet in this game, I don't believe. I get three attack because it has three printed attack. I also get two, four, six, eight to recruit. I'm going to phase Lockjaw because I want that ninth recruit to get a third officer out of there. Or, oh, I have three attack. I don't know why I did that. So, yep, eight recruit, three attack. Really wish I could clear the HQ, get Penumbra, but these officers take priority. Um, I can hit a Circus of Crime too, which I should probably do. It totally is. You're right, you're right, you're right. I forgot to move this. Thank you for the catch. I told you at the beginning I would miss that, but uh, hey, I got 27 turns before I missed that. All right, so let me reveal from the left-hand side. Yeah, 100%. But guess what? It's even better. Now, I'm pretty sure I'd have to look at... Oh, where did I see it? Was it in the Roma Kings rule book? Rule sheet? If somebody would like to check for me, otherwise I'll look. The other side, actually. So I believe with Karma... This is both, so I get six attack. I'm not 100%, so I have to check. I'm pretty sure it's six two, uh, and I think that was, it would work the same way as Abomination. So I'm gonna check the uh, Realm of Kings rule sheet, unless somebody can get to it before me. Or actually it would be in the Civil War rule sheet too. I forget what rule sheet it is, I'm gonna check. rule sheet. I'm pretty sure it's in there. Uh, let me see. Well, that's Board Game Geek. 
Gotta get this right. Legendary Realm of Kings. Let's pop this open so you can see what I'm looking at. So, where was it? Um, divide. Yeah, some divided cards like set some legendary Civil War have two printed numbers. If you need to know that card's print attack, the card is not currently played. Add both those attack numbers together. This applies to Abomination and Berserk. So I would assume that would apply to Karma as well. All right, so that means I got six attack from that, which I'm pretty happy about. So let's back up. Thank you for catching that. You got me double the attack that I thought I had. So uh, Karma, six attack. Then I play my officer. That's eight recruit. Uh, Emma is at 12. So what do I want to do with this uh, this information? This goes back to the top of the stack. Pop it to the left hero deck. If I phase, well, hmm. I probably want to fight the Zerkus of Crime first. Or I could fight them now and draw Lockjaw again. But. So yeah, option A, I fight the Zerkus of Crime, maybe draw something else or KO with zero cost. Or I phase Lockjaw, get something else, fight the Circus, and draw Lockjaw again. And then just lather, rinse, repeat. So she's at 12. I don't think I'm going to get there. So let me just try fighting them right now. See what happens. Um, down to three. Top card of my deck. All right. Oh, it's this. Look at that. Deja Vu. Same card. On the top of the hero deck, top of my own deck. So I do get to draw it, which is great. Because I get to do this. I get to play the divided card. And I've played a covert. So I get to KO something. Um, if I play Lockjaw first, though, that'll give me 3, 5, 8, 10 towards the Mastermind. If I KO... What if I KO one of my shield officers with Tsunami of Just... Oh, they're not in my hand anymore. I couldn't do that. So even if I played Lockjaw, it'll be 5, 8, 10. Still not enough. I'm too short. <sighs> Shoot. If I hadn't fought the crime, the circus of crime, but then... So, if I had phased with Lockjaw, I could have actually hit the Mastermind this turn. But I decided not to. So let me actually phase right now. See what I can get. Maybe I'll get lucky. So, we're going to phase Lockjaw. Immediately. Again. Uh, oh, here it is. Phase Lockjaw. And that's going to give us... Hmm. Interesting. I could draw Lockjaw again. That gave me... This. I haven't played an Instinct yet. I could play Tsunami of Water now. Which would give me three more. I'm at six. I could draw a card gathering rain clouds, and I'd be at eight from Lockjaw, and I could phase them again. I could probably just do the KO. Although, if I do a really big combo of drawing stuff, I still might get there. And I have to give up on KOing stuff because I'm just so saturated over here with officers. So let's just do the fun thing. Um, let's play... Four, six, seven, eight. Let's do the fun thing. Let's get one more recruit from Gathering Rain Clouds. That way I can get another officer. Um, unactivated. Now we'll play Tsunami of Water. Wait a second. Oh, I meant to do it backwards. I meant to do it backwards. Hold on. I want to play Tsunami of Water first. So I'm at uh, 6 attack. Now I play Gathering Rain Clouds. Up to 9 recruit. I draw a card. I get to draw Lockjaw again. Um, which we're going to phase once more just to see what happens. Because if I play him, that's 8 attack. It's nothing. So, one more time. We phase into an officer. Or at 11. <laughs> I just kind of wanted to see what would happen. But uh, we will take 3... Well, what side are we on? Yep, we're on the uh, Secret Hydra Corruption. So we pay three, three times. So that's three, six, nine recruit. Down to two officers in this pile. I really do need to send some back soon. These all are going to be gained by myself. Take one for the team. I got two recruit left. And I've got six attack here. Let's clear the city, I suppose. Circus of Crime once again. Maybe we'll clear the city. We'll see what uh, Mr. Mortal brings back. Down to three. Top card of my deck is Lockjaw, of course, so I draw him. 
and we'll phase him again because why not he loves it he's a good boy he loves phasing all around teleporting uh so let's do it again teleport i mean phase him for uh, another officer which is great because that'll let me get another officer down to one officer here so I'll gain this one as well for three the stack is still only at 13 which again worries me let's see if i can take out mr immortal so top card of the villain deck is another circus of crimes he's going back into the sewers and that is it I sure am bribing a lot of officers. There's even more here. Lockjaw stays. Okay, this is a turn where I should be able to hit the Mastermind. I have no graves and I have a lot of attack. I just need eight. So we'll see how this pans out. Circus of Crime come in. What's the best way to get attack here? Um, again, no discard pile, so I've got a guaranteed two three six seven eight if i play everything out i have exactly eight attack so i don't want to take any chances let's start with layla miller first let's see will anything give me knowledge no nothing will give me knowledge let's actually start by drawing cards with channel time let's see what we get draw two cards one two lame all right at least i would have failed to investigate so now i can try again Let's pick X-Men. Choose a team, investigate for a card of that team. Put this in the bottom of the sidekick stack. Picking X-Men. I got a Legion. I will tuck the soldier to the bottom. All right. She goes away. That was one attack. And uh, let's keep going. I've played attack, so I'm going to play reload. Two, three attack, and I draw a card. It is all right. Another channel fire channel time. Nothing in my discard pile, but I, I'm going to do some berserks. We'll see if I get lucky there. Let's do one Ben Steel. So that's one attack and a berserk of... All right. We got one more attack from that berserk. And that's two classes in the discard pile. We'll berserk again. Six attack. Berserking an operative. Okay. Let's uh, play. And no other cards I can mill. So we're going to go ahead and do um, Channel Fire for the two more attack. Although I can get two attack without doing that. So maybe I maybe I draw more after that. Seven from the Soldier. There's only one officer here. We're going to play Simple. That's ten attack. And uh, I have two Greys, by the way. So she is at ten. So... Um, now would be the time to hit her before I draw anything else. If I'm going to draw anything else. Yep. So let's go ahead and hit her for 10. Well, I got these two graves out here. Penultimate tactic is going to be... Tempting bargain! Fight, you may play the top card of the villain deck. If you do get five recruit, no. Thank you. Not in a million years. Get out of here with your tempting bargain. Okay, she's still at 10. Probably can't get 10 again. So let's just draw and see what I get. You know what? I guess I could have... I've already revealed the tactic. I, what I should have done, I should have played Passion Rocket, hit her for 11, <coughs> and done an excessive violence, but I didn't get to. I didn't think of it. Let's play Channel Time. Channel Time. It's Channel Time. Let's draw two cards. One, two... Wow, that's four piercing energy. Emma's at six. If only I had one more. Shoot, that would be great. And I can't uh, excessive with the piercing energy, so. Let's move all these over here. Here's what I'm left with. I have no points of anything whatsoever. Pretty sure I spent it all exactly. Um, so I can go... Split personality twice, two, four, five attack, and I can excessive violence one of these two to draw a card and maybe keep things going a little to get to the reshuffle faster. I can't excessive violence with piercing energy. So I, here's what I can do. I'm going to play one split personality, two attack. I will play passion. One more attack. I'm going to hit Mr. Immortal for three. That means with excessive violence. Top card of the villain deck is a bystander. Again, he's landed on two bystanders this game. 
But at least I know a bystander's coming in. But I do get to activate Passion, Excessive Violence, draw a card. I will draw... Alright, more fun stuff. Nope, wrong side. I can no longer do Excessive Violence this turn because I already did one. Um, I can get the last officer out of there, I guess. Let's do that. Let's play Xandar is Invincible, which will only give me two recruit this turn. That's two. I'll play the Operative for a third, and I will get the last officer out of here, gain on the left-hand side. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and play Split Ear Drums for the two Piercing Energy. What a turn this is. Two Piercing Energy, and uh, we can get through Mr. Mortal's Fight Restrictions, which he has none, but he'll come back anyway. Let's go ahead and take out the Circus of Crime for one Piercing Energy. Top part of my deck is... Oh, it's a not zero cost, so I draw this. My turn is not yet over. It is still going. What's left for me to do? Um, I haven't Light Showed yet this turn, right? Oh yeah, because I haven't played any Light Show cards. I played the Berserk side. So I can get one attack in Berserk. Which will, again, speed up the deck, which I want to do. So let's do it. Let's play Ben Steel. One attack, and we'll Berserk. Top part of the deck is a Soldier, which will give me another attack. That's two. And I can hit Mr. Mortal again for absolutely no reason. I don't know why I did that. Felt like fun. And that's the turn. Got a Bias Gunner coming in next. Just gotta hit her two more times. Here's the le cards left in my deck. I have two cards left. It is a full reshuffle. Unfortunately, I do start with two gray cards in hand. Which is too bad. But so far, I'm I'm not mad. I'm enjoying this game quite a bit. Quite a bit. Three, four, five. Okay, let's get all the grays out of the way. That's a good idea. So the turn after this. I'll have no problems. They are concentrating. Oh, I never even moved the HQ to the proper one. I didn't recruit anything, did I? Yeah, I didn't. So that was last turn. I wasn't even thinking about it. Now I'm on the right HQ. Can you tell I don't normally do that? Okay. So here we go. Uh, we got the bystander coming in. Going to Mr. Immortal, buying me some time that I desperately do need. So, she's at 9, 10, 11, 12 right now. I can... <laughs> I can phase uh, Cloak and Dagger and Lockjaw over and over. That would be fun. It won't do anything at all. But uh, let's start by phasing Lockjaw. Here we go. Phase Lockjaw right now for an agent. Let's double phase. I can flee and fight. Phase for Lockjaw. Maybe I'll actually do a recruit this turn. Hold on. I can actually take some stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six recruit. Maybe I can uncover Penumbra yet. Let's go ahead and take the uh, double down bubble up for five. I haven't recruited anything in a while. Left hand's deck. Another Storm Black Panther. Yeah, here we go. So we phase. And we phase again. And we can do this forever. Where do I want to stop? <laughs> um, I'd rather have the Cloak and Dagger in my next hand. So I'm going to phase back to Lockjaw, not play him, and end my turn. So now I've got Cloak and Dagger in hand for next turn. And surprisingly, only one gray. So, ooh, I can two, four, six, eight, nine. I can hit the mastermind on the left-hand turn. So, if I can do a one-two punch, actually, right-hand side's got a bunch of grays. So, it's not happening next turn. But the two one-two punch after that is possible. Although, where are these twists? Right here. That's where they are. I did clear them all out, but I'm worried about the officer stack. So, uh, this is now seven twists. So we take seven officers. So that's 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, six officers left. I must put them back because if I get a back-to-back -back twist without doing any of that, I lose. 
Ah, oh, so close though. So close. All right, then it's gonna transform into Open Hydra Revolution. Uh, transform. So I put uh, seven twists. Let me go ahead and make sure I have the counter right. That's five, six, seven. Yep, only six left. I can only fight two of them though. So if I fight two of them, this goes down to four. And then if I pull another twist, it's gonna be 11. So if I two of them, it'll be eight. And then I'll have to, oh shoot. Okay, yeah, there's nothing I can do. I'll put two officers back right now. It'll re increase the officer stack from six to eight. But then if that's a twist after that, it'll be exactly enough officers for me to empty the stack and lose. Exactly enough, which is terrifying. So I got to hope that within the last, uh, how many cards I got left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right, I have a one in six chance of pulling the game losing twist after this. Let's see what happens. But I'll do what I can here. So simple, three soldiers, give me six attack. And uh, let's go ahead and fight two officers or two Hydra, Hydra folks. Put them back into the stack right now. And KO two of my heroes. I shall play the two operatives first. So I keep forgetting that. So uh, two recruit there. Put them back in the stack. There are now eight in the stack. I am at the mercy of the villain deck right now. Completely. And I'll KO these two operatives. I'll get a sidekick. Cross my fingers. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, it's the right hand side's turn. So the, I don't, I, I'm fine. I just, I, the psychic goes on the right hand side. Okay. I just didn't move the HQ. That's why I confused myself. All right. There we go. Everything else I did correct. I spent the six bottom. There are, what are there left? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Not much I can do except hope. I hope that I can survive this. Here we go. Next hand is pretty good. But will I pull a twist or not? That's the question. I guess I take a sidekick, but not too too nervous to do so. Okay. Whew. Moment of truth. Fill in deck time. In three, two, one. I've never been happy to see a bunch of angry clowns. Oh geez. Okay. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna live for now. Now the question is, do I hit the mastermind or do I take care of these officers? Let me just get as much attack as I can get, and then we'll see. Um, let's start with um, above to attack. Uh, another above, two more attack. That's four. Trooper is five. What can I do here? I can get six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's not twelve. I wish it was twelve. That's a KO power. I could phase fight and flee for maybe something better. Although I could do this. I could play fight for two more. That's seven. I could play gathering storm cloud. Gathering rain clouds to draw a card. Maybe get some more. I could phase, but I might miss out on this two attack. So let's do that. Let's play fight. Two more attack. I'm at seven. Yep. Two, four, five, seven. Let's play gathering rain clouds. One recruit and draw a card. All right. Yes, it was worth it. Now I'll play fight. I did play arranged already. This one activates. So I'm up to eight, nine, ten. And then darkness, 13. A really top card of your deck. Did I play a covert? Yeah, I started with coverts. If it costs zero, KO it. doesn't cost zero, so I don't KO it. So again, Emma is only nine. So I can hit Emma Frost and take out four officers. Take out one officer. So if I did that... 
if I did that, right side could probably hit her and win the game. It's not a guarantee. Plus, if I pull a twist, that's it for me. So I think, again, we're going to play it safe and take care of those officers. And if I get four of them, it's going to cost me 12 attack. But the downside is I have to do four KOs. So I will have to sacrifice. I'm at least going to fight one. So I'm down to 10. I take care of one. Back to the stack with you. What's the minimum I need to be safe? So that's one more in the stack. So there are four here. And I've got one KO. So the trooper. All right. Let's say I pull a twist next turn. I think I can survive that. It'll be eight. And there's now nine in the stack. And I can still hit Emma. In fact, she's down to eight now. So I think I got to do a Hail Mary here. I should hit her now. And then fingers crossed, be able to hit her for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus three Berserks. I have to take this risk. Otherwise, I might not be able to win. I think her last tactic, I think, will also do a Waking Nightmare. If, I, if I'm correct. I got to do it. I got to do it. I got to do it. It's like ripping the Band-Aid off. Let's turn down to two and hit her. You did. I'm making a risky move right now. And it's Psychic X-Men Link. Yep. Each other player has a waking nightmare. Each of those players who did not discard an X-Men hero this way gains a wound. All right. So I could... I, I wouldn't mind getting the wound because this might be the last turn. So what is going to be the... I'm done with all these cards, so I'll move them to the side for a second. Let me just preview the right hand's hand. What's going to be the least damaging and the most likely that I can still hit her? Let's say I got rid of uh, Drax and uh, the Money Rail. That would give me two, three, four, five. With one gray in hand, I would have to get four attack from Berserks to win. If I got rid of one of these legions, I'd have two, four, six. I'd only need three attack from two berserks. What's well, more likely? Three attack from two berserks or four attack from three berserks? Probably four attack from three berserks. I just got to hit one big berserk to make that work. But it's still not great either way I slice it. Okay, so since Drax can't draw anything unless he uses excessive violence, I think I'm going to have to Viking Nightmare, the Drax card. Give me something good, please. Great. Wonderful. That's going to be the win. I do get a wound. But that's okay. I think that's going to do it. That's going to give me the the uh, the dark memories that I need. The not dark memories, not dark memories. Okay, but that's next turn. That's next turn. Because I have a full discard pile, finally. All right, that's the end of this turn. I think that's going to do it. But let's play it out just to be 100% sure. Left hand's going to draw their final hand. Or, yeah, probably their final hand they're never going to get to play. All right. Three more cards after the shuffle. One, two, three. Moving over. Can I do it? Can I get the final blow? I think I can do it. I don't think there's a lot that could get in my way, but there still are some things that could. Turn 32 is roulette. This is not going to hurt me. Ambush over the top card of the hero deck. If it's tech, each player gains a wound. If it's covert, you draw a card. All right, top card of the hero deck. It's um, neither tech nor covert. So nothing happens. It's two other classes. All right, I think we got it. Um, I have one grand hand, so Emma is at nine. Let's end this right before I'm about to lose. Um, starting with Channel Fire. Oh, let me do my Berserks first. It makes more sense to Berserk first. So here we go. Ben Steele. One attack. Berserking away. Falcon the Winter Soldier. 
You count both of her Berserk. I have more than enough now. That's five total attack for that Berserk. Let's do a second Berserk. Bend, steal. Um, one more attack up to six. I have Berserked away another divided card. Give me one more attack. Seven. The same card, actually. Now we're going to go ahead and... Uh, thank goodness. Oh, I have one more Berserk to do. A third Bend, steal. Eight. And that's another one of these. That's no printed attack, but I do get two more classes in my discard pile. I already have almost enough, but let's uh, channel fire. One, plus one attack for each different hero class in my discard pile. I think I have them all. Instinct, tech, strength, covert, and do I have a range? Do I have a range? Do I have a range? I don't. I only got four. Um, so I get 12. Red John shows up to say New Jersey. And uh, split personality. Oh, no. I can piercing energy. I'm at I'm three left. I can clear that. Yeah, let's see if I take out Mr. Immortal at the very end. Uh, so, let's play Split Eardrums for two Piercing Energy. Let's use the two Piercing Energy to hit Mr. Immortal, get that one more VP. <laughs> I meant, I thought you meant nice uh, <laughs> nice job. I was joking around. Thank you. All right. Don't say... I could still flip the table by accident. All right. I'm going to fight Mr. Immortal for the two Piercing Energy. Um, Right-hand side. And uh, let's do the thing. Top card of the villain deck is Thunderbird. So he's going to come back in. That's okay. I got the bystander. Um, let's uh, fight the circus of crime for three. Um, that's going to put me down to nine. That's all I need. Top card of my deck is... Oh, I get to draw another card. Because it wouldn't have been zero. And uh, let's see. Can I hit something else before I end this? I can't. I'm going to get... Uh, I won't even play this. So let's just go ahead and spend the nine. Hit the Master Friend one final time right now. And that's it for Emma. That is the final blow. And that is going to be a win. We did it. That was a fun one. Thank you, Micro Disney, for uh, the setup. I enjoyed using all these divided cards. Although I'm, I must know where Penumbra was because that is... I really wanted to see it. Okay, there was Patriot. Oh, wait, is this the correct side? Yeah. Where was it? Did I forget to put it in the deck? Nope, there it was. It was far enough down, so that was going to happen. There's the game. That was it. I'll go ahead and count on my VP in a moment. Let me go ahead and show you the predictions here. If I remember where it is. All right, uh, so most of you said I would win, and I guess you were right. You had more confidence in me than I did. So, it was a win. I recommend you try this one. It was a lot of fun. If you're watching this on YouTube after the fact, um, you can see the setup in the description. Uh, hop back over to the um, the story part. Oh, by the way... Hey, thanks, Ultimate Play. What's up? Nice to see ya. I have to read this uh, before I move on. Before I forget. Okay, it was... Emma Frost is defeated. The divide between the heroes has been overcome, not because the divide is gone, but because the heroes could work together despite the divide, says Micro Disney. So there we go. And uh, sweet. All right, let me go ahead and count out my victory points, and then we'll see if there's anybody I can send you over to. Don't forget to come back on Thursday for the first randomizer stream of the year and the result of this past week's uh, league. So let's go ahead. Uh, left side got 6, 7, 8, 9, 15, 16, 20, 21. I won't bother with the chat. I'm not recording this. So 21 on the left. And right hand side got uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 15, 21, 23, uh, 26, 28, 30, 32, 33, 34, 37. Uh, where was that last scheme, last couple of scheme twists uh, in the deck? Oh, here they were. So this was on the top. I just revealed it. And this is in reverse order. So in I had two three turns for the penultimate twist five turns for the last twist so I didn't have much longer to go before I would have been in big trouble so that was a lot of fun thanks for being here who's playing some board games right now I would like to find out why can I never find the thing reset to default Oh yeah, by the way, make sure you get your packs here. Raid channel, who's online? Who's playing games? I don't know who's on. Um, oh, we're going to go ahead and check out D20 Woodworking. I don't know what they're playing. They're playing champions. I don't know what they're playing, but uh, we're going to say hi to them. I will see you guys Thursday for some randomizer, and I'll see you in the Discord. 
thanks for thank you thank you for coming back uh, it was a really fun stream to return to you guys are always awesome and have a blast hanging out talking to you about legendary and marvel stuff and uh, of course playing this wonderful game tune into upper deck stream tomorrow it's the first stream of the year i don't know if they're gonna have legendary news but i sure hope they do i'll be there see you there and uh take care everybody <laughs>